Happy Holidays!
I'm so full from cigarettes, yum! Hey, holy shit, are we live again? Alright, cool.
Hang on a sec, I'm having a coughing fit. <laughs> past couple streams in a row, uh, literally every time I'm about to, like, start up proper, like, uh, something happens to me. <laughs> Today it was my internet going out and then coughing. 
uh, unrelated, I, I assume. I, I hope? Uh, it would be strange if uh, the network interference issues were somehow fucking up my lungs. Uh, that would be so scary future. I ate cigarettes again? Listen. I'm just saying. I'm so full. And you're not. So who's the real winner here? <coughs> <coughs> that that was that was that was a joke cough. That was I'm not actually coughing. It's it's okay that time it was just a joke. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? Hope you're having a good one. Hope your day's been kind to ya. It is Tuesday. July 13th, 2021. And you know what that means? This is the first uh, July in 23 years uh, to have a Tuesday the 13th and a Friday the 13th on the same week. That's wild. You don't see that very often. <clears throat> We're gonna play some chicory today. <laughs> We're gonna paint, we're gonna see a nice dog, uh, we're gonna think about our feelings and think about what it means to make things. Holly Freyer, that's Chrissy. Wow. That's Chrissy. Wow. Thank you very much, Rosie Hyena, for the 12 month resub. I really appreciate that. Uh, if you want to support the stream, you know, you got options for that. Uh, subs, tips, bits, gift subs, all that stuff. Never mandatory. Don't feel obligated to. Uh, never necessary to, you know, watch the stream, join the community. But, uh, you know, if you have the means and you have the desire, uh, it's, it's real helpful for me as far as, like, staying afloat and paying bills and saving up to eventually move somewhere that doesn't have internet that goes out every couple hours. Uh, so your generosity is very greatly appreciated. Uh, it's a big part of how and why I'm able to justify doing, you know, stuff like this as often as I do. So, you know, if, if, if you got the means and you enjoy the show, uh, it'd mean a whole lot uh, if you chipped a couple bucks my way. Of course, as soon as I make a joke about my internet being bad, I get a fucking frame drop. <laughs> it knows. It's listening to me. Uh, what else? What else? Um, we got the Discord all renovated and uh, open for business, as it were. Uh, we did that last week during GDQ. Uh, so now you can join up, and if you want to be a part of the community there, you know, talk to some good folks, uh, see some nice discussion about, uh, you know, games and gardening and bionicles. Yeah, 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 fight the internet. It deserves to be fought. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I don't know if I can do that so much, but <laughs> I appreciate the sentiment at the very least. <laughs> Thank you for the tip. I appreciate it. You can do exclamation point uh, discord if you want more information on the server and a link to join it. Uh, and also keep in mind, if you want to be a part of the, the fan art showcase at the end of stream, uh, please post your work either uh, on on the Discord in my in my server, in, in the Holly Discord, uh, or, you know, just post it on Twitter and at me there uh, if, if you'd like to be a part of uh, the showcase at the end of a stream specifically. Uh... I keep forgetting to talk about that I've wanted to talk about for a little bit. Um, PayPal is making some changes uh, to like how much of a cut they take uh, as far as like service fees go, uh, and like I'm, I'm pretty sure they're still like sticking by what they said on it. Uh, unfortunately, that means like. Uh, for like really small denominations no bad changes bad changes for well good changes for paypal bad for anyone that uses the service um like small denominations of like let's say if someone gives me a dollar uh i only get 40 cents of it uh that's coming in august so uh i might 
have to like bump up the 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 like on screen alert stuff for for tips and stuff like I, I'm I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'll have to verify it just to be sure. But like I might have to bump up the like on stream like tip alert things to be like five dollars and up. Uh, just because of like that, because I would like to. You know, like, so that I, both you and I get a better deal as far as, like, you know, I get more of the money sent to me and you don't send more of your money to PayPal. Like, I might just try and, like, encourage folks to do uh, less often bigger tips than, like, the smaller ones. Which is, you know, unfortunate because uh, people giving small amounts is, like, a decent chunk of, like, the tips that I make, so... Just something to keep in mind, something I might have to implement soon. Uh, kept forgetting to bring it up, so I reckon I should have done that now. And thank you, uh, Vergi Kakak Sigili. I probably pronounced that very bad, and I apologize, but thank you very much for the brand new sub. I appreciate it. Uh, I think that was everything I wanted to say before we get started. And uh, I think... On Saturday, I might stream Minecraft for a bit. Well, thank you, January, for the $50 tip. Screw you, PayPal. That's very generous of you. I appreciate that. Uh, I, I do have to verify to make sure that, like, the PayPal information is correct and they didn't, like, suddenly roll that back. Uh, because I imagine probably several people were like, hey, this sucks, but, uh... You know, that's just, that's just the way it is, unfortunately, sometimes. Uh, uh, but yeah, uh, I've been fucking obsessed with this picture today. <laughs> I literally cannot stop thinking about this image, uh, it's for a Minecraft mod that I don't remember the name of, but I, like, saved a link to it. Uh. And I literally can't stop just thinking about this picture and these weird beasts. Uh, which are, like, feathered reptiles that sniff for truffles or something. Which is an extremely funny and cute concept. Uh. And it just made me kind of go... What if I just stream, like, a bit of Minecraft on the weekend or something and just... I have an idea for something I want to do. <laughs> Put it that way, I suppose. Uh, so that might be Saturday. Uh, unless it isn't, in which case it's not. Because I still haven't decided if I have, like, the... the, the, the energy or the, the... the interest or what have you. But yeah. Uh... Thank you for having subtitles at the top. You're welcome. Uh, sometimes, unfortunately, just because of the way I speak and how the, the, the speech-to-text work, it doesn't always pick up the what I say necessarily, but, you know, I reckon it's, it's at least a step in the right direction as far as accessibility goes. Uh, I, I am still in the, the process of, like designing uh, an actual layout, like a proper layout, instead of just, like, a bunch of text and MS Paint pictures all over the screen, but, uh, that'll be a ways away, so... Until then, uh, I suppose this is good enough. Uh, I think that's everything I wanted to cover. I think that's everything I wanted to cover. I mean, yeah, I think the layout's charming too, but I also have, like, more ambitious ideas for other things that I would like to have as far as, like, I mean, the word makes my skin crawl, but branding. Not, not Brandon, branding. Come on, come on, captions. Eh, good enough, I, I reckon people know what I mean. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> so that'll happen at some point, but probably not anytime soon, just because, like, you know, your girl's not so good at graphic design. I got- that's the BRB screen. I gotta- I gotta contact someone who is. Uh, let me stop the music.
And let's get the game booted up. Let's play the video game. The thing that I was actually here to do today. Uh, I almost wasn't able to do the stream because I looked down and I was like, oh shit, uh, there's an update for this game that I haven't like downloaded yet. Uh, it, but it turns out it was just like two seconds to download, so it's fine. <laughs> Chicory. Let's continue. Where we previously left off, it's a pretty big cliffhanger and the start of chapter four. So what's chapter four? Ah! You're awake. I, 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 I saw Chicory. You saw her. Inside the tree. What's going on? It's as I feared. The darkness that rises from below. I think it is connected to Chicory. But, 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 but I mean, it wasn't real, right? The things she'd said in there? You need to speak with Chigori. Confront her about this. She won't listen to me anymore. But maybe you. Can't leave that the brush. You're bombed with the brush, powered up. Press B or control to leap? Cross small gaps and fall from high places. We gotta jump? Doggy jump? We got a puppy jump! <laughs> Cute! The power of these corruptions. It's far beyond what we've ever known. They came about when Chicory had the brush. Now she's appearing within them. I'm afraid to face what this could all mean. I fear I made a horrible mistake. Chicory. Could it really be? I don't know how else to explain all of this. You need to speak with her. Please, hurry. Okay! That's neat that we've got this jumpy bit now. Didn't know this game got so hardcore. Oh, trust me, we've seen nothing yet, apparently. Oh yeah, we can have a sit here. I do like how our dog looks worried. That's cute. Oh wait, no, we can go here now. And wait, 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 that's a hole. We can go in this hole. What's in here? Oh, it's bugs that hate it. Oh, the bugs ate it, right. The bugs! It's a good thing the bugs don't somehow eat you when that happens. Uh, I was a little scared of that, and it would be like a, a horrible, awful game over state for our dog. I say our dog, her name is Soup. style. It's Leaf. Nice. Oh, 
we can use it to jump off cliffs, too. That's handy. Can't use it to jump up, just sideways and down. Okay. Cool. Let's check out our map. What have we got? It looks like we've explored everything uh, in Gulp Swamp. At least as far as like, tiles go. There might have been secrets we missed. We can always go back for them, though. in the whole ground here to make it easier to drift across. There we go. Oh, there's some garbage over there. Hang on, we should get that. Can I get through here? But... I could literally just walk down here. <laughs> it wasn't a puzzle, it was literally just go down one screen. Okay. <laughs> news, everyone. I've solved the puzzle. The Potluck Art Academy is in charge of these. I could go there sometime to fill this in. We can jump across here. Uh, I like that we can jump in the water and then just drown. Uh, and by like that I mean, oh my god, this poor, this poor soup. Jump is a lot of fun. I like this. Time for a swim! Yippee! Yahoo! Yippa! Yay! Whee. Yippee! <laughs> hey, Carcala. Oh, hey! I came to check out your art here. It's amazing how much your color adds. So much energy. It's like you brought this place to life. Thanks, it's entirely the same shade of green. Oh? Feelings extreme. Okay. I get to move in with my partners soon and I'm really excited and happy that I'll be able to have a space to truly be myself. Hell yeah! I hope everyone else gets something cool and exciting to look forward to. That's wonderful. I'm excited for you. Thank you very much for the tip as well. I appreciate that. Hey, Beans. Hey, it's getting tight in here with all these kids. If I get five more, I'll clean out more. I love Beans. She's doing her best. God, I love the goopy sounds. <laughs> you in here, Chicory? Yes, you are. Oh. Hey, Soup. Did you take care of the swamp, then? Chicory? I saw... something. You were there. In the swamp. And you said some things that... Blackberry thinks it's connected to you. But it wasn't real, right? Blackberry said that, huh? I guess there's no point in hiding it anymore. Chicory, what? What's going on? I'm a messed up person. That's what's going on. Y you're not- All these corruptions, they're not just connected to me. They're coming from inside me. I, I can't stop them. They expose all my worst thoughts and fears. Reveal awful things. B b but it's not real. Right? You said that I'm- you said there that I'm a, a joke, a and I don't deserve the brush. But, but- but that's not what you really think. Right? You think that I should be the wielder. 
think you believe in me. Don't you? I can't deal with this. But I don't care who the wielder is. It doesn't matter! Just leave me alone. How can you say that? I, I, I did it for you! I thought we could be friends! I can't believe I looked up to you! Chicory. Uh, I'm sorry. Just go away. I shouldn't have said- GO! Is this dear wielder the bugs of feast humbly request your service come find us deep in the grub caverns on the outskirts of dinners the north city sincerely queen drosera emotional weight and rawness of that like scene with with soup and chicory to just oh boy here comes the parade of bugs with a funny little letter for you <laughs> yahoo <laughs> also the music is different here now probably because of the trees among other things all the time. I, I'm trying to calm down about it, but these horrible trees are sprouting closer and closer to me. What am I supposed to do about that? Nobody's taking this as seriously as they should. First the color white, now spooky trees. It's like everything is crashing down around us. Dungeon was supposed to be a safe place. I, I keep telling myself it's going to be okay. But it's hard to make myself believe it. Poor Lemon. Hey, Soup. What's up? You, you look sad. I, I'm fine. You don't seem fine. Is everything okay? Standing very still and saying nothing, I see. A common tactic. For sad people. You can't hide it from me. I know everything about being sad and lonely. Oh, Pickle! Let me know if you want any tips. It's okay to be sad. I don't be ashamed. You don't have to talk with me, but have you called your family or anything like that? It's good to talk to someone, if you can. I love you, Pickle. Thank you, Pickle. Ooh, it's even got the, like, the shadow fading effect, like, around here. Ooh, uh-oh. Right, you want the full moon. I don't got that. Uh, nothing new in here. Maybe we ought to call home. <clears throat> yeah, no, because I did hear about the pickle, other pickle thing. I thought it was cute. Hello? 
Hey, Mom. Oh, soup. Sweetie, you don't sound so good. Is, is everything okay? Uh-oh. I'm not sure. It's about Chicory. She and I had kind of a fight. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. It must be so tough for you. Yeah. I, I guess it is. It's just... I thought we were friends. But she maybe saw things differently. Ugh, I was worried she was trouble. But, shoot. Whatever she said... You shouldn't listen. She doesn't really know you. Thank you, Dog Verified, for the four-month resub. This dog is going on an emotional... Uh-huh! <laughs> Take it from me! Oh, I know you better than anyone. And I know you're the sweetest, most amazing kid in the world. I'm so proud of you. And I'm so glad you're the wielder. Oh. Mom. Um. Thanks. Well, that's my two cents. Did you want my advice for what to do next? Sure. Well, it sounds like... You should find the Grub Caverns and see what's going on down there. It's not every day you get a letter from the Insect Queen. It's near dinners, the city to the north. Don't forget, you can jump now with B or control. At least that's what I think. I hope you're doing okay, Soup. You can always call us back here, okay? Bye, sweetie. Oh, I love you very much. Uh, oh, oh, hang on. Uh, your dad has something to say. You know how he likes to just give the answers away sometimes. Should I put him on the phone? I mean, I think I got it, but also I want to hear from Dad. <laughs> okay, I'll put him on. Soup! Hey, listen up. The easiest way to find Grub Cabins is to get to dinners. Head to the Nibble Tunnel, then to the north side of lunch. You can follow a sign there to get to the path to dinners. You'll need to use beer control to jump, too. Make sense now? Yeah. You got this. Your mom likes it when you call. And don't be a stranger! <laughs> you know, I'm not... I'm not really super keen myself on, uh... Like, features that are just like, okay, here's the answer to all the puzzles. Like, I think it's neat that games have that as an option. I don't like using them personally. I do really like hearing from the dad, though. He's so good! <laughs> The dad is good. You've made quite a name for yourself as wielder. I have? Yeah, our dad is a raccoon, so that means that we're like a tanuki? Some kind of we're some we're some kind of magical animal. <laughs> oh yes. Opening the way to Elevenses. Investigating the Wielder Temple. Mm. Oh, you're still no Blackberry, by any means, but you're working your way up. Tell me, what inspires you as a wielder? Making people happy. Hmm. It must be tempting to be populist, isn't it? But... Can you really make something important if you're just making what people already want? A real artist gives us what we didn't know we wanted, and then shows us why we want it after all. Have the courage to be bold. I mean, isn't that still making people happy in a sense? You know, it's not necessarily just, like, doing what everyone says they that, like want to see but like you know if it's something that makes people think and they get something out of it is that not making them happy all the same 
luncheon's definitely uh, changing. I noticed these spooky trees all around. Uh, I'm a tough guy though, so it doesn't bother me. But uh, maybe for someone less tough, it'd be scary. Oh, you know what? I'm... I ain't being real right now. Look, I don't know how to say this. But I think I should be telling more people. On account of it being on my mind a lot. I like dudes, okay? I mean, not just dudes, I like all kinds of folks, so I'm bi, okay? This is a new thing for me. Uh, what are the colors of the bi flag again? It's like... It is... okay, it's the, the, the red, then the purple, then the blue. Okay. Uh, uh, no. So it's the... this is the closest we got to red. Uh, here's the purple. And we got the blue. It's, uh... Close enough, given the color palette we got. Anyway, so... Uh... I've only recently been figuring that out about myself. It's pretty scary. Not to be the person you thought you were. Oh god, I know how that can be. I keep falling back on saying I'm a tough guy. But actually, I'm a lot of things. Including bi, I guess. But also still tough! Feels good to just be honest about it. Uh... Sorry if that was weird. <laughs> you know, you're all right in my book, bud. but notice how nice the colors are here. I stopped to take it in and spaced out for a while. You did a nice job with it. I like being here. Hope you're having a nice day too. Oh, cardamom. There's no hug button, but please pretend I'm hugging cardamom right now. I really like this redux of the, the 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 town theme. It's neat. You pretended you were hugging people all game. Oh. <laughs> right. So where are we trying to go to again? We're trying to go to. Uh... Was it the north? Was that where we're going? Something about dinners, I think. Nibble Tunnel. Uh... Dinner's this way. Okay. Uh... All right, we can just jump the gap now. Looking to brew path. I expect myself to get maybe a little lost sometimes because I'm bad at remembering the names of things. Oh, there's like a little thing there if you get stuck. Cute. Jump! Uh... Uh. 
Thanks. I like the purple with the orange. It's a good look. Uh, I don't think anyone's surprised to hear that coming from me, but... <laughs> in these caves. I like the way they glow. It's fun. Purple and orange is a good combo. It's one of your faves. It's one of my faves, too, honestly. Make them smile. Make them be happy. Okay, but what's down here? You show me what's down here, okay? The maze. Anything over here? Nah. How about up here, though? Nope. Just over here. What's this? <gasps> A brush style. God, I love the little shake that Soup does when she gets out of the paint. Just like... <laughs> it's very cute. The character is named Soup because that's what I named her at the beginning of the game. Um, you can name them whatever you want. Uh, I went with Soup. Uh, apparently the canonical name is like pizza or something if you just say that you can't think of anything. Uh, I almost accidentally named her Cigarettes because I didn't realize what the name was when I was naming her. <laughs> It was just like, oh, put in, like, your favorite food. And I was like, hmm, it would be really funny if I put in cigarettes because that's not food. And then I said, no, I should put in actual food that I like. Uh, and I'm glad I did because it would have been kind of miserable going through the whole game just named cigarettes. <laughs> the color palette is nice here. these red actually yeah take a minute to just take it all in and do a little bit of painting pretty color for tree leaves actually let's make these ones red they look a little bit like berries or fruit or something. That's good. I like that. Grasses. Oops, let's get this fixed again. I missed this. I missed just doing this. <laughs> I didn't want to, like, play any, uh, on my own time, any time recently just because like we left off at a cliffhanger and I didn't want to like accidentally get through that but man I have missed just like painting stuff in this game it is fun dinners Clementine's here. Soup! What brings you to the big city? Busy with the important wielder stuff? I 
guess so. Hmm. You should come get a slice with me. I know the perfect place. In terms of screens. It's just one up from here. I'll meet you inside there. <laughs> By the way, player, did you know about the different screens in this game? Oh, you can get in their way! <laughs> you can be a public nuisance! party. Just head north from here. Hey, thanks for the two anonymous gift subs. That's very generous of you. Red beast. Let's not keep our sister waiting. Let's maybe get out of the road, though. <laughs> Thank you, Frostios, for the 14-month resub. Hell yeah, we are. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Begoli! I am. It's about chicory. Oh. Oh my gosh, no! Did she say something nasty to you? Why do I have to go beat her up? <laughs> I love our little sister! <laughs> no! I, I mean, she did, but you shouldn't beat her up. Uh, if you say so. I guess she must be going through a lot now, too. With everything happening. <laughs> yeah, it is extremely, uh... It is extremely, like, beloved sibling relationship to have one be like, Yeah, I'm not doing so great now, right now, the other one just being like... Okay, whose ass do I have to kick, though? <laughs> you want I should start kicking? My sister and I get like that sometimes. It's fun. I hope she's okay. But I wouldn't worry about what she said. You're the sweetest, coolest little wielder there's ever been. And I'm not just saying that because I'm your sister. I love you, Soup. You know I always have your back. Thanks, Clementine. Did you still want to have a slice with me? Yeah. Okay, let's go! heard of this place before. How's wielding going, anyway? It's been kind of a lot, to be honest. Chicory is doing worse than ever, and the Bug Queen needs my help or something? And the Eleventh's gallery is still missing pieces, not to mention there's lost kids everywhere. You're so focused on everyone else's problems. Oh. A am I? Yeah. You always say yes to everything. But, you know, it's, it's okay to say no sometimes, too. <sighs> Things are different now that I'm wielding. I can't just let everyone down. Can't you? Time? I, I, I don't think you really get it. Even wielders gotta take breaks, you know. You need to make time for yourself, too. But... How am I supposed to do that? Hey, um, excuse me. Uh, you're the wielder, right? 
Dude, we were kind of having a moment. Oh! Well, so like I was saying, my, my slice is pretty dang good, right? But I, I really don't know a thing about marketing. Uh, I need help getting the weight out, so I just thought, while, while you're here, could you design a logo for me? Are people just like that with you? Basically. No wonder it's such a little stress ball. <laughs> well, why don't you let me help you? I can scribble some stuff. And then... You just add as much or little as you feel like. That'd be fun, right? Okay, now your turn. All right, let's paint. Uh, uh, hmm. Collab, sis? Collab? <laughs> hmm. What colors do we use? Oh, is her scribble different for everyone? That's cool. That's a cool detail. Hmm. Okay, so I can't paint over her stuff. That's good. I was worried about that. This feels extremely like aping off the idea of a solo cup, but like, you described a solo cup to someone who had never seen one in their life before, so they didn't really know what it was. And I mean, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I've never really seen one in person. I've just like seen pictures of them, and like the general sort of like, oh, it's the, the wavy purples and the blues kind of thing. Uh, I fill that in, we'll fill in other things. Uh, is that like a bus seat pattern? I don't have not really ever seen buses like in my area with stuff like that. That's at least not a thing in my area. Thank you, Positronic Envy, for the three month free sub. I really appreciate that. Hmm. Oh, paint bucket work over pre existing lines. Okay, 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 cool, cool, cool. Thank you, thank you. Um, uh, let's do... Hang on. Yeah, this one. Great, okay. Uh... You see some of Montreal like that? I haven't. Huh, I guess I've just somehow missed them. <laughs> 
it's it's kind of like how I didn't know what ranch was, and it's not because it's not a thing here. It's just because I've never, <laughs> I've never had to experience it. <laughs> But at least in the case of Ranch, I didn't know it was a thing here. I didn't- wasn't aware of that for the bus seats. Yeah, I- I, I talked about it a little bit on the, the- the tier list stream that I did with Wayne. Uh, I've never had Ranch in my life before, I didn't know what it was. Means I can't process your spaghetti ranch sins. Is it a is it really a sin if you like it though? Is it really a sin if it's a thing you do willingly that you enjoy? I mean, I guess you could willingly do things you enjoy that are like cruel and 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 debaucherous. Uh, now that I think about it, so. Uh, <laughs> This to sort of break up the pattern. That's mm. more yellow here. What's a good shape we can have here? Uh... Quite look like the shape I want. Maybe. It's not really anything here that expresses what I want to express. Sure. Teamwork. It's created the perfect logo. That was fun. But I gotta get going now. Good luck with everything, Sue. And remember, it's okay to say no. Love ya. I made the ultimate in radical slice logo design. Uh, what does it represent? Fuck if I know, they weren't paying me for that. <laughs> I'll make it a floor of this color. Bottles. 
This goes to the back. I'm sure more customers will come. Any minute now. Why don't you check back later? is always having the world's worst day, it sounds like. This is Stevia. Hey! What's going on here? I've been the only guy going to the shop for years! Now all of a sudden they've got a... logo? And a huge lineup? Man. This place changed! So they're sold to make a buck. <laughs> I gotta get some slice, though. <laughs> hey, look! Raisin's here! You ever think about how slice is a weird name for something? I know it's because you eat it in slices, but... Well, never mind. Oi! There's nothing like a perfect slice! I'll go anywhere they say is good. I'll go anywhere they say is bad, too! I just really like me some slice. I never heard of this place, but all of a sudden everyone says it's cool, so uh, I wanted to ch check it out, but uh, the line's so long, and I'm so hungry. Maybe I should have tried something unpopular instead. But you are literally the first person in line. You are literally up to order right now. You are literally in the front of the line. It is literally your turn to get the food. <laughs> I don't think the Kiwi knows how a restaurant works. <laughs> Mamma Mia, look at this lineup! Thanks for saving my humble little shop. Uh, but now if you'll squeeze me, I got slice to bake. I didn't know I could fall in love with a company logo! Yeah. But here we are! You did it again! I never cared that much for Slice, but that's just because I never saw it through your eyes! Soup, you show me the beauty in everything! I like the little uh, graffitis on the buildings here. It's cute. That's a cute touch. Oh, it's a little bit of tea. There's a canvas here. I know a lot of folks have uh, mixed opinions on uh, street art and, and graffiti and things like that, but. No, I think it's I think it's really charming in a lot of ways, honestly. And I suppose that's not a super uncommon opinion either. Like I reckon there's a lot of people uh, that also like it, uh, but I mean, I, I, it's not that I reckon. I know for a fact, uh, but you know, it's cool. Dinner's this way. Grub cabins this way. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Come on out! Okay, it's your red. Okay. Uh. Got a 
push that all the way over here from another way, it looks like. A lot of garbage there, though. Spanch! A litter-free province. That's my dream for picnic. Wouldn't that be lovely? But for it to come true, you've got to pick it all up. I'm trying to do my part, but there's just so much. Right now, the place you've been with the most litter would be... Gulp Swamp. There's litter on two screens there. I hope some brave soul can go clean it up. Spyanch. So we've met the NPC that tells us about uh, the garbage. That's cool. I just realized also the BB painting is going to be over the map here. <laughs> Maybe that's fine. Maybe that's fine. Oh, hey, we got the achievement for exploring a bunch of the map. This is Pepper. Ah, have you seen a little skunk around? He, he was just here. I, I looked away for one second. Have you seen him? Uh, I, I found some lost kids, but no skunks. Sorry. I can't believe I let this happen. I stitched our address into his kerchief, so if anyone finds him, they can send a letter. Oh, but the post office is in total disarray. I'm not sure what to do. I've run around screaming for him all day. Ah, but I probably sh shouldn't leave this spot. What if he finds his way back and I'm not here? What if someone finds him and sends a letter and I'm not here to receive it? Uh, I'm going crazy. Oh, there's an epidemic of lost kids in Picnic. It's natural for kids to go climbing out on their own, but the, the color wipe must have confused so many. Oh, this is horrible. This shouldn't happen to anybody. Poor Pepper. Hang on. I'd like to go this way. So you cannot jump on top of the buildings. I figured, but... Hey, the name's Stevia. You probably saw me and thought, what a tough-looking guy with smarts about the streets. And, well, you'd be 100% right. I've got my own graffiti tag and everything. The one with the teeth, right there on the ground. Besides here, I've got it on four buildings and dinners. So, hey, do me a favor. Color in all of my graffiti tags. That'll make them pop. If you do, I'll give you something nice. <laughs> I'm kind of a wild guy. I do what I want. And I don't care what people think. You dig? So, yeah. Go color my tags in the buildings and dinners. Looks like she got three left. You gonna color in my graffiti tags or what? They're like these teeth on the ground, but on buildings. You got three left to fill in. Okay. There's one. I guess I fill in this one too. Yeah. You're at 160p and Stevie looks like Walter White! <laughs> oh, <laughs> very good sentence you have said to me. Please? Oh. I see. Oh no, I'm not actually going inside the pipe, damn it. I thought I was being so clever going inside the pipe there. Rooftop party, come upstairs. Let's look for some- oh. Baby! Garbage. This is omelette. Why are you reading that? Huh? Oh, I'm waiting for transit. Sure, but why are you reading that? It's not that bad. It's interesting political theory. Have you read it? 
I have. It's garbage. What's wrong with new ideas? Oh, nothing at all. You can't just dismiss it. It addresses actual issues. Like, there's plenty that works right now, don't get me wrong. Shared worker profit is functional. Government-controlled property, all that. But it sucks if you want to start your own business. Fairness is great, but all that red tape also prevents innovation. Sure, I agree. So? Shouldn't we do something to improve it? I think we should abolish money altogether. Don't tell me you're one of those. How do you imagine society functioning without money? You gonna barter for every slice you order? No. You create a shared storehouse of all goods and products. Everyone contributes to that storehouse to the extent of their ability and takes to the extent of their need. Wow, sounds real simple. It is. What if someone decides to steal it all for themselves? Then they pit themselves against all of society. They wouldn't win. What if someone burns down the storehouse? We wouldn't actually keep it all in just one place. We can deflect and theorize all day. I'm just saying, it'd work. There's a lot of things to figure out, but all systems of government have things to figure out. I'm not convinced. Because you're believing garbage. No, because it just doesn't make sense. Where's the motivation? Why would anyone do anything? Well, the existence of money doesn't fix existentialism either. If you're in a moneyless society, you're free to explore that on your own terms, without the demand for profit keeping you on a treadmill. Society would never just transform like that. Money solves too many problems too well. I'm telling you, this theory's sound. The issue is that workers have way too much power right now. Like, seriously, why should all workers share profit equ equally? People who actually start businesses should profit from their good ideas. Then you could have an economy driven by people's innovation. Capitalism! That's seriously the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. A successful business would consolidate its wealth to just a few people. So you'd end up with a tiny ruling class exploiting everyone's labor. And only lucky rich people would actually be free to have ideas. The rest of us would just be stuck working for them. Well, it's just a theory. is good. <laughs> there we go. Colored them all. Have you seen all of- oh, whoops. I colored over the baby. Oh. There's that bit down there we haven't gone to yet. Let's swim in the sidewalk. Hey, hey, good nightmare judge. <laughs> What's over here? Man, dinners just ain't the same anymore. A lot of these characters are back OCs. I don't know, was this a, a like a kickstarted backed game sort of thing? The color wipe really killed the vibe. This wall, for instance, it used to have a beautiful mural. I'd see it every day, and it inspired me to live a beautiful life. Without it, there's nothing to inspire me. Guess my life just sucks now. Thank you, the flesh must grow for the three gift subs. That's awful generous of you. I really appreciate that. Only four or five backer characters? Okay. I'd really love to see a mural here again. It'd have to be filled with colors with a beautiful scene that inspired me. My life's just empty without it. Oh. I know just the thing. I know just the thing. Mm. 
was the button to make the brush bigger? I don't remember. Not, not sad. It was alt. Okay, there we go. Finished painting this wall? Yeah. Wow! Look at this! It actually doesn't make me feel better at all. How am I supposed to improve my life? Ha! That's something to encapsulate how I feel. I'll be on the lookout for other external sources of joy. Everyone's a critic. Everyone's a goddamn critic. I really thought we got him with this bros. Oh man. Do you know Chicory? That's so wicked. I'm a big, big fan. Her colors made the world feel so alive and magical. You could feel her spirit bursting out of every stroke. Yeah, yeah you could, couldn't you? She must be so cool in person. I saw Chicory once, when she was the wielder filling in dinners. I really wanted to say something, but I was so nervous. <laughs> She looked busy, so I just kept walking. I still think about it sometimes, though. Like, what if we became friends then? I'm not like an artist or anything. I'm a, I'm a pretty decent DJ, though. Do lots of parties, and clubs, and stuff. Maybe chicory isn't really the club type. Guess we just live in different worlds. Is there anything else down here? I don't know. Oh, they all came to see the mural, but... This is a really good mural! I feel like... It shows a different side of you than we've seen before. It... Really? It's, it's bros. It's cool that you're so talented, but you're still evolving and trying new things! Nobody appreciates you enough. Uh, okay. As an art student, I'm trying to keep up with the wielder's work. It's cool to see you take your skills to the streets. Is that... Did, did, did I say that right? Oh, I like it anyway. Yeah! I love seeing this outsider art. You've adorned this wall with your creativity. And in doing so, snatch some power straight from the establishment! Well, I guess the whole Miller thing enforces an ancient hierarchy with gatekeeping rules and power dynamics, which basically makes you the establishment! 
of art. So I guess nothing actually transgressive happened here. Just more of the establishment exerting its dominance over us common artists. Man, I hate that. I mean, you can paint over it if you want. I'm not stopping you. I just painted because no one else did. You can go right ahead. <laughs> You're not wrong. I am gonna go and tell you that I tagged all your tags, though. Oh! Nice! All my graffiti tags are looking colorful and beautiful. Thanks for that. Take this! Hey, it's a brush style. I nicked that off some dorky art student. Oh, okay, I'm just kidding. It's a legitimate purpose and not stolen property. Just, just thought that would sound cool. Have fun with it! <laughs> People are always asking me, Stevia, how are you such a cool and tough guy? The trick is you gotta stop caring about anything. Don't get attached to nothing or no one. Then nothing can't hurt you. <laughs> I don't play by the rules. Yeah. Watch out, buddy. We live in a society! <laughs> Thanks, bud. <laughs> of course you would drop that one. <laughs> what other buildings do we have here? Have we got up here yet? I have. That's the, that's the part. Avocado! Let's color this guy. Welcome to the rooftop party. Did you see my flyers? To be honest, uh, I'm kind of new to throwing parties. People keep coming up here, but when they see the big empty roof, they just kind of look around awkwardly. Oh. And then, uh, leave. I probably should have thought about decoration or furniture. Lesson learned. Uh, if you have any of that stuff, you should totally throw it down here. I always wanted to throw a party. So when I moved into this place, and saw that it had this red rooftop, my party throwing senses went into overdrive. <sighs> Next time, the decoration, then flyers. I feel really silly about all this. <sighs> this party obviously needs decorations. Obviously. But now the flyers are all up, People are coming, so I can't leave. If you have any furniture, please help. I guess I better come clean. I'm, I'm not even experienced at partying. I'm sorry. I know it must be shocking. I've always heard how they're so cool. <laughs> you know, like when people say, it's party time! I wanted that to be me. At least once. You know... There's something you should know. So, I'm... Gonna tell you so. Don't sweat it. Forget it. En enjoy the show. <laughs> Who knew there was so much to throw in a party? I thought I had everything I needed. Little rooftop, flyers, positive attitude. But yeah, I guess I also need furniture. If you have any to spare. Ooh, so we're doing it now, right? We're chatting here. This is... This is partying. Right? Wow. Wow, this is so cool. 
Listen, I had to go for it. You you know how I am about the fucking Titanic dog rapping party time song. <laughs> you know how I am. <laughs> I I love to party. God damn my tea now, that's gonna be in my head all week. I'm not I I'm not apologizing. I have no regrets. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. <laughs> they painted a building. Oh, I painted a building. I don't put it down to furniture. Oh. Oh, you're just saying the same things. Okay. Uh, so you are just looping. Uh, let's give you some furniture. Uh, all good roof parties need a grill. Uh, we got this nice umbrella. We can get a table for, for sitting at. We got a, another table here. Uh, we got a BBQ so we can do multi-track uh, multi grilling. Um... Let's get a lantern up here to help keep things bright. Um, this nice chair. Then we got this nice chair. Then we can get um, big time lounging. Any good rooftop party needs a rug. Maybe we get a couple rugs. This one. This one. And maybe like a like a welcome mat over here. We move this uh, over here so the lounge legends can enjoy it. think about that one. That one still hurts a little too much. Uh, we can get another umbrella out. That's nice. There we go. Yeah. This is looking pretty nice. Grilling with fire on flammable cloth? No, no, no. You see, the grills are over here. Far away from the cloth. This is for the lounge legends. This is this is just the grill. Maybe I should move this a little closer, actually. Oh, that no. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe instead, it, this should be near the. There we go. Yeah. Now we're talking. <laughs> oh heck yeah! This is it. The party is saved. You did me a huge solid. I bet loads of people will show up soon. Maybe check back in a bit? Okay. <laughs> Look! It's a party! Woo! Here, you can have this. Couch! It's my couch. Or was. Now it's yours. May the party go on forevermore. <laughs> you made my dreams come true. I I've partied. I've partied hard. Thank you. May the carnage never end. I like coming out to dinners. Potluck is so... quiet. It's good for focusing on art, but after a while I feel like I'm going crazy. I need noise and action. Or else it feels like I'm not alive. <laughs> We're clipping through the umbrella a bit. Hi, Pickle! Ooh, a party. Check it out. 
It's my party wiggle. My special attack. I'm gonna use it to try to attract friends. <laughs> I love you, Pickle. Pistachio. Oh. Now this is cool. I love a good rooftop party. The decor is perfect, too. It just wouldn't be a party without this lantern. See, I told you someone would appreciate the lantern. I told you a lounge legend out there would appreciate having this lantern nearby. Thanks for making such a cool spot. Oh, by the way, um, I, I hope this isn't weird, but I've been working on something for you. It's, uh, it's not ready yet, but next time you see me around, be sure to say hi, okay? Sure thing, lounge legend pistachio. <laughs> Rooftop party, huh? This takes me back. Dinners used to be so cool, you know. Rougher and rowdier and ruder and dirtier. We'd party on the rooftop and get in fights. Now everything's so clean and nice and tidy. And full of trees and kindness and junk. I mean, I guess actually it's pretty nice here now, but like... Is it freedom? <laughs> Holly Lantern keep hollow tones. Listen! I simply think that lanterns are fucking awesome. You would be a fool not to recognize this. That's all I'm saying. Affable Giraffe for the 14 months. Hi Holly, I just got back from work and I missed your other streams of this game. Can you describe it to me in two words so that I can catch up? Thanks, smile. Uh... Hmm. I only know lanterns of Minecraft and can confirm they are so fucking cool. Well, you see, lanterns are a real-life implement that you can use to light spaces. Uh, <laughs> thank you for the bits. Uh, two words to describe it. Um... Dog draws? Uh, depression coping? Uh, find children? Vent art? Uh, <laughs> using only two words is very limiting here. <laughs> Yeah, I am pretty sure Draw Dog was, uh, like a working title for this game, yeah. I just realized there's multiple flyers. Top party, come upstairs, come upstairs, come upstairs. <laughs> the post office. Aha! It's you, the new wielder. About time you showed up. We need to talk about the mail! Artichoke! Uh, what's up with the mail? What's up with the mail?! <laughs> it's going nowhere! That's what's up! My workers haven't shown up since the color wipe! Someone needs to deliver it! And that someone... <laughs> is you! Uh, huh? Why me? Because you're a public servant! And you travel around anyway. And it was your color wiping that got us into this mess. But no buts! Now take this! It's a mailbag. And a letter to deliver. It's addressed to... <coughs> two screens right from the dinner's transit bench. You can check it any time on your collection screen. Come back after it's delivered. Come on now, go deliver that letter. Who knows how long that person's been waiting for their mail. Uh, okay, okay, geez. Two screens right from the transit bench. Is that what it said? I'm just walking into the wall here. Where was the transit bench? It was... Uh... 
Right, it was up here, wasn't it? Uh, we are two screens to the right of this, so... One... Oh, I literally just... I went in a circle. Uh, oh! A letter for me? Let me see! Yes! Oh, thank goodness, yes! Somebody named Beans has my lost son! Oh, I was deathly worried. I'm so glad he's safe! All the way in luncheon! How did he wander off so far? Oh, poor thing! I've gotta head to luncheon right away! But, oh, thank you so much! I hope I'll see you again sometime! You delivered a letter. Your mailbag is empty now. Go talk to the postmaster. Oh! Beans is a good mama. Good for her. So? Did you deliver the letter? Yeah. It was to someone, like, right outside. Are you sure you need me to deliver these for you? Absolutely yes! This time I've got a whole stack for you to deliver. And some of these letters are going far away. So make sure you get your transit pass from City Hall. A bunch of letters. The first one's addressed to the middle of three square houses in a row. You want to deliver a different one, sort it out on your collection screen. Trouble figuring out where to deliver letters? It's not easy, I know. If only there was some kind of standard way to address letters. But there isn't! So go figure it out yourself! <laughs> this awful world we live in that has no concept of addresses! I've worked in this post office for decades. I started as a delivery person, just like you. Uh, it brings back memories. But that's all they are! Memories! My time's over! Go deliver your letters! Oh, it breaks my heart to see mail go undelivered. When people send letters, they put their faith in us to deliver it. We're a symbol of certainty, stability. People need that faith. Without it, society as we know it would collapse. Yes! Mail's the very backbone of our civilization. And we are its champions! Now deliver those letters! This hog is very intense. I like them. That was like murder on my throat, though. <laughs> Drink some more liquids. Uh, where is City Hall? Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, we've not been to Plant Exchange or Barbershop yet, so let's do that. Mochi! You wanna get a haircut? Yeah. How long do you want? How long? Do you want a cut that's more cool or cute? I'd like cute. Should it be more pretty or tough? In between. Ta-da! What do you think? Try something else. Try something else. I like it. All right. It'll be there under your headwear. That's about the best I can do. I do hope you like it. I used to have a partner here. We did some really crazy stuff with hair. We started this shop together. I ain't seen them in a long, long time, though. I tried to write them once, but... I don't think the letter ever made it. Ooh, that's, uh... Yeah, that's, that's, that's too bad, huh? 
Hope they're doing okay out there. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Have a nice day. Thanks, Mochi. Clown. <laughs> Flower. Let's go with that. being a nuisance in traffic again. Flower exchange! Small plant, big plant, potted plant, growing plant. So this is how we spend our garbage! Croquette! Hello, this is the plant exchange. We'll take litter and trash and give you plants in exchange. It's a new program we initiated to try to clean up picnic. So if you spot any litter lying around, pick it up. And if you have trash, don't leave it on the ground! The bigger the plant, the more litter we take in exchange. The growing plants on the far right might seem a bit small, but if you plant them and leave them for a while, they get huge. I'll take this. Mountain ash. I'll take this. Flower bush. I'll take this. Potter plant. I'll take this. Seedling. I'll take this. Clover. No one told me there was a plant collecting component to this game. Uh. Game of the year, I've decided. Lupin? Hang plant? Seedling? I got an achievement for having a lot of decorations. <laughs> Foxglove. Little pot plant. Seedling. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Knox. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Enjoy a lunch. Small plant. Rhododendron. Always liked that name. Shooting star. It's very easy to get sidetracked in this game. I'm realizing now we've basically made, uh, like, no story progress today. <laughs> However, I'm getting plants. Desert flower. Pansy. Leafy bush. Pot of tree. Phlox. I mean, yeah, I'm in no rush, so I don't mind. I just think it's funny how I was like, man, I'm so excited to dive in and see more of what this story has to offer. And then I was just like... But also, I could paint a bros mural and grab a slice with my sister and, you know, decorate a barbecue on a roof. <laughs> Flower pot. Rattlesnake flower. All right. Litter can show up in all kinds of places, unfortunately. It tends to be more gray or darker colored than other things. So keep an eye out for things like that. I mean, yeah, it is all story in a sense. We're all experiencing what the game has to offer. Even if it is just like, you know, stuff that isn't mandatory, that's still, that's still part of the experience too. That's still important and valuable. Take any plant you like. Oh, don't worry, I have. <laughs> 
Don't you worry, I'm taking plenty of plants just now. Uh, where else we got? Where else we got? Uh, city Hall, we haven't been to City Hall yet. I keep getting caught on the cracks in here. I gotta go on the road! This is dangerous! An adult. <laughs> Thank you, not a real fish for the three months. Wow. <laughs> I appreciate it. Take any plant you like, she says to the puppy heading out with a wagon full of flowers. Yeah! It is funny that she said that, like, right after I had like, cleared out most of their inventory. <laughs> Hello, fellow adult. I'm in line to get my transit pass to go on cool adult adventures which aren't even that cool because I go on them all the time as as an adult taxes accounting mowing lawns vegetables these are my favorite things have you seen the latest adult rated films? I sure have. I've seen them all. Even the ones with lots of. kissing. This adult is a pervert! I don't want to talk to them! Good day to you. This is the Transit Pass Agency. If you're a citizen of age, you're entitled to a free transit pass here. Would you like a transit pass? Yes. Okay. Your name, please? Soup. Okay, Soup. What's your birth month? Next page. September. Okay, and what day of the month for your birthday? Uh, 15 to 21. What day of the month is your birthday? 21. So your birthday is on September 21. That's right. Okay, thank you. Now come stand in front of the camera. Okay, I'm gonna take your photo. Please maintain a neutral expression and pose. Okay. Now just sign on the bottom here. Please refrain from marking other areas. Getting in trouble is a fake idea. is ready. You can view it any time on the collection screen. You can also now travel between official transit benches. Just take a seat near any transit sign and flash your card. Have a nice day. Would you like to update your transit pass? That's okay. Have a 
nice day. Oh, you have a trend, a trend is pass. Can we? Can I have it? Isn't that illegal? Um... <laughs> um, so, can I have your twin to pass? I'm not sure. Please? Okay, but just because you ask so nice and you're very cute. Thank you, Captain Lindsay, for the seven month resub. This rhino's nose looks like Hornet from Hollow Knight, and I can't unsee it. Oh yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> Thank you for the resub, I appreciate it. Listen, getting in trouble's a fake idea. <gasps> Mustache! All right. Well, we can't use it because it was taken. Let's, uh... Did you... illegally give your transit pass to those children? <sighs> Not my problem. Would you like a transit pass? Yes! <laughs> okay, your name, please? <laughs> intend for that to be the colors of the bi flag, but I mean, you know, maybe Soup's bi. Good for her. Usually when I play a video game and it's like, a here's a character that you can just kind of project on, I just kind of play them as myself, but I mean, like, you know, I'm not a dog. I'm not Soup, you know? She's her own, she's her own lady. She doesn't even gotta be a lady if you're playing her. The game, like, doesn't really go out of its way to gender the character, so, I mean... I just think she's a woman because I am. Anyways, we got our card. <laughs> Soup is what you make of it, exactly! That's, uh... A good rule in general, I suppose. Oh, cute, it shows up here. <laughs> We can flip it over and it shows like percentage and plates. Wow, 42% already? I guess that's technically 43%. Uh, I'm surprised. We're like halfway through the game, technically, almost. Wow. It kind of puts things into perspective. I thought we still had like. I thought I had like barely gotten anywhere in this game. My god. Huh. Turns out. Never went down that way. I don't want to go down that way. I'm gonna go down that way. Is it this way? No, it's this way. This is the Tea Time Meadows. These trees got holes in them. <gasps> Child. This is the BB that I drew. Oh. Oh. I almost 
almost forgot about this. A cute creature. Oh, it sure is. Hey, you get out of there! Whose baby is this? Whoa. That just takes us all the way down to luncheon. Huh. Who would have thought? It's all connected. There's a path over here. I should talk to you. Oh! This creature you painted is so adorable! It's so adorable and also it's me! I... I mean, you are both birds. It's like you painted a portrait of my soul! That's a... <laughs> That's a very funny coincidence! <laughs> That's a very funny coincidence, all things considered! Yeah, this hat looks familiar. I wonder why. <laughs> This sure looks like something I've seen before. I wonder why. I got no idea. Oh my god. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Tell me, do you like music? Yeah. I knew it! Me too! Oh, it's my favorite thing! God, I haven't done the Kiwi voice in a while. I can already tell we'll be friends. Let's write a little song together. Sounds fun. Yeah! Just draw around me here and I'll sing. Whenever you're ready! Oh, I just realized it's like the, 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 the octagon, like for the, the singing in... Oh my god, it's the same vocal sample. Well, Kiwi, I already did. Do you still want to make a song? Yeah. Oh, I see. That whole time I was making music and it wasn't for the... the song. There we go. Sounds 
That's good. Oh, cute. <laughs> Why don't you take this? A brush style. Oh. Come make a new song anytime you want. Oh. <laughs> I'm actually getting really emotional. I didn't realize there was going to be a Kiwi in this game. That's wonderful. Oh, that's such a cute little callback. And this is Pamela. Hello. You seem like a world-weary traveler. How romantic. Me? Oh, I'm just a collector of things. I love weird knickknacks and discarded treasures. There's a certain magic to them, wouldn't you say? So tell me, tell me. On your travels, do you ever just find discarded... things? I want them. I want them all! <clears throat> I'll trade you instruments and record players. My, uh... Neighbors, always bringing more than I can fit. Wait, does Kiwi just live outside? Do they just do they just live on that patch of grass? Kiwi. <laughs> Anytime, one's here. Feel free to trade for it. Oh, it is just straight up trade garbage. Okay. My neighbor is a pretty big music fan, so they're always bringing me things. It's it's very sweet, really. But the instruments and records do take up so much space, and I'm kind of in a variety myself. Okay, I'll be back once I've got some garbage. I, I don't I don't have any garbage. I spent all of my garbage on plants. <laughs> Goodbye, Kiwi. Oh, Kiwi, it's a type of birds that live on the floor. I know that. We've already been here. Kiwi just wants to share the gift of music, I suppose. Soup canonically obsessed with plants? I mean, when I'm playing her, she is. Hummus. Oh. Hello. I'm just thinking here. You're the wielder, aren't you? I hate asking for favors, but, well, it's my friend. He... he passed away just recently. We spent a lot of time together at this place. His final wish was to have a colorful garden here. If you find plants, can you bring some here? It would mean more than I can say. It's a start. <gasps> oh. My goodness. You've made 
such a lovely garden. It's just what Parsley would have wanted. Thank you. So much. I... I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. I... <laughs> Thank you, Socks, for the raid. I hope you had a wonderful stream today. Y'all came just when we're talking about a guy and his dead friend. <laughs> Oh dear, the timing. <laughs> I appreciate it all the same. I hope you had a wonderful stream today. And thank y'all for stopping by. I hope y'all enjoy the stream. I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I, I need to collect myself. Can you come back in a moment? The baby is safe! Oh! Right, it's this part of luncheon. It all loops back together. I see. I see. Cute. I mean, we could always go and say hi to Beans. There's a... Uh... There's a lot of babies! And it's not too hard to make our way back here. Missing kids are a bigger problem than I realized. Even Peppers ended up here all the way from dinner somehow. <laughs> now she's helping me keep track of them, bless her heart. And Pepper and I moved more stuff out to make room. If you want some, it's yours. I'll take the studio set. Yeah. Sea beans! Isn't it nice to get rid of that old junk? Yeah. I, I guess. I mean, I've had that stuff so long. But it's easier now that you're here to talk me into it. I've got a new life to make space for. Alright. I'll be watching the kids inside. If you find six more, I'll move more stuff out. Oh my god, they're gay. Oh my god. This... This woman really just came over and was like, Thanks for finding my kid. Uh, we're dating now. <laughs> oh my god, you can pet them. Oh my god, you can pet them. Was was this a recent update? I don't think I was able to do this last time. My son was here after all! Oh, I'm so glad Beans took care of him for me, but there's still a huge problem! Not only did my son go missing and Beans' kids too, but there's tons of lost cases reported across Picnic. I can't sit idly by while this goes on! So I cross-reference every report I could find, and put together... well, this. The Kid Tracker. It's an add-on to your camera map. It'll show you where all the remaining lost kids are. Pretty cool, eh? While you track them down, I'll take care of them here with beans. Let's get everyone home safe together. <laughs> so we've got, like, the, the gruff Hono and her mom, like, who just took care of all these lost kids, and now the, like, the spunky, nervous software developer mom who's moved in with her, I guess. I gotta say, Beans is one heck of a gal. Cute. 
She's ready to take care of as many kids as she can. From the mess in her place, I thought she'd be a rough character. But she's got a huge heart. Going through all these lost kid reports. It's heartbreaking. So many kids went missing. Almost couldn't even get through there all the reports. I was so upset by it. But someone had to do something. With Beans' help? I think we can do this. Uh, Pepper's been a huge help around the house, gotta say. She's definitely the tidy type. She's kind of been begging me to toss all this junk out. It's hard to part with it, though. It's my entire life's worth of stuff. I got her to compromise, since there's still space for kids. We end up with six more. We'll clean up a bit. I've been alone for a while. Having someone else here has been... eye-opening, honestly. Life's so much easier when I help in hand. And I knew the place was messy, but I might not have realized just how bad. It's getting tight in here with all the kids. Now, once we get six more, we'll clean out some clutter. Of these and then no because then you're just squishing them okay how do i get up there again is it through here i don't think it's this way uh i think i'm going wrong although i can go through the cave here my god these beamers gay. Good for them. Good Wait, for I've them. never been here. I'm sorry, I don't understand your language. Maybe the the, the, the queen of the insects can teach us how to speak spider. Maybe that's the, the, what that's leading up to. How the heck do I get over here again? All oh, right, it was probably like all the way over here is all. Uh, oh, hey! I was curious about the work of our new wielder. So I came to observe. It's interesting to compare your choices with your predecessors. You certainly have... a very personal style. I'm going to take that as a compliment. There we go. This is how we get upsies. This is how we upsie daisies. Oh, I fell down. Wait, no! You can swim through these! Oh! Interesting. That's handy. There we go. Oh, I fell. There we go. The Banquet Rainforest. Uh, I imagine we can't do much, what with it raining here and all, but... It's pretty here. We'll come back. We'll come back either when it stops raining or we find a way to deal with rain. You erased some of the colors. I'd really like to see it back again. Hang on. Let's color this in.
take out the hiccups. Put these flower bushes in. Let's keep these ones green. There was a lovely garden here, so I had to come see. Being with all the plants here makes me happy. I want all of Picnic to be covered in plants like this. I think I can help with that. Let's color up these upper bits too. No sense leaving them unpainted. Now, it's like he's still here with me in a way. Please, take this. Honeysuckle. Well, this was his favorite flower. Thank you. special guy. He loved plants more than anyone. So, he always had more than he could handle. <laughs> any holiday or any birthday, you could always count on Parsley to have a new plant for you. He knew so much about all the different kinds. He had a way of making you love them, too. I don't know a thing about plants personally. <laughs> so, when he got sick, he said he wanted a garden here. Uh, well, I didn't even know where to begin. I guess it was an overwhelming situation for a number of different reasons. Nothing can replace having parsley. I'll always think of him when I see a pretty flower. Or a big, leafy plant. It's hard right now for that not to be a sad thing. But maybe it's a good thing, too. Honeysuckle in flower language means happiness as well as sweetness and affection. Oh! 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 That's really sweet. You, I come back for you. Maybe I don't come back for you right away. Ah, the caverns. Splendid this time of year, aren't they? Man, this game's real good. It's a jump point. 
Oui. Let's see what we got here. That's just a uh, floor. Get this big wall. Aha! Well, there's some nasty roots here, aren't there? Studs! So that's where the bugs are, is about. We're about it. Let's give them a wide berth. There we go. There's some suspicious looking vines and roots down here. It's a little worrying. Hey Mickey, sorry to hear you died, I think. I think. Bugs are cool. That's true. I am glad that uh, Wander Song and this game both didn't seem to have recurring themes of be nice to bugs. It's fun. That's enough ways. Okay. Oh, I fell. But it's fine. Actually, it's great to fall down. I've decided. I'm gonna base the entirety of my personality now on, like, uh, how much I love falling on the floor and eating shit on the pavement, actually. Actually, it's a great thing that I just fell all over the floor and, like, spilled my dinner. Uh, in fact, it's so cool! I didn't actually spill my dinner uh, today or any time recently. I do like the slopping sound effects, yeah! <laughs> Learning to park roller skate right now, and it's like that. Yep, that's what I was like when I was learning to roller skate, too. <laughs> that's why they invented things like safety pads. I mean, also for the safety reasons, but, you know. Okay, so we can go here. Get a garbage. Get a garbage. Now we got garbage. Oh yeah, that's some nasty roots. Real gangly looking things. Mm. I do appreciate one thing about the slopping sounds uh, in this is that like, apparently during like, uh, like development and like early testing and stuff, some folks were like, yeah, like I literally can't deal with this sound. It makes me want to like die. Uh, I can't deal with like sounds like this, I can't play your game. And so they were like, yeah, okay, that sucks, we're gonna give you an option to turn it off. Uh, which is cool. Uh, I've seen a lot of people talking about how, like, there's a lot of really, really cool and good, like, accessibility features in this game. That's great. That is, as they say, uh, the good stuff you love to see. Set to feast. Shortcut to surface bugs only. Well, I'm not a bug, but... I mean, maybe I could use it too. Maybe it's for dogs too? Now, who's been littering here? Who's been littering in this ancient cave?
it does make me happy that, like, so many devs are making a conceited effort to, like... Is conceited the right word for that? Probably not. I think I'm using the right word. But so many devs are making an effort to, like, you know, like, design around accessibility features in mind, like, from the start, so that, like, you know, people can actually play the video game. Concerted! That's the word. Conceited is extremely the wrong word. <laughs> it just sounds similar. <laughs> I said it out loud, and then I was like... Hang on a sec, that's fucking wrong, isn't it? <laughs> By the circle, keep it away from the bags. My colors. I need those. It seems over here. It's fun to just like color things in in these caves and find like secrets and goodies and stuff. Would I consider streaming the game Psychonauts? Uh, not only have I considered that, uh, I'm thinking about doing it soon. So I suppose the answer to your question is yes. <laughs> I've had a bunch of friends recently get into Psychonauts or get back into Psychonauts. Uh, and it's a game I've never played and I've never really like watched a lot of other people playing. So like, I'm excited to experience that. Bell? We've just got a bell on our head. We've just got a bell on our head. I'd like my flower back. <laughs> Old Big Ben looking ass. I don't know why I said it with such venom in my voice. It's cute. <laughs> God, Super Hot is another one I want to play soon. Uh, that's a game I have played before, though. Ah, the maze. Super Hot's the most game ever. Yeah, it's like one of the most innovative shooters of all time. It's it's dope. More folks should check it out. Most innovative shooter you played in years? Uh huh. Now that's a sentiment I see like echoed a lot, but like you know, it's it's echoed a lot because it's true. Garbage. There we go. That's how you get back up there. Okay. We've got all of garbage here. Who keeps littering in these goddamn caves? And this is how we get back up. Cool, cool, cool. Advanced garbage tech. Oh, this is... No, this is different. Never mind. I thought this was something that we saw earlier. It's not. Where are we now? Ah, I see, I see. This is where we are. Wherever we were, here we are now. I never did go this way. Hang on. Mystery stuff in the corner here? Scary. 
Oh, sorry to hear that lesbian bug, but thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a good rest of your evening and hope the migraine goes away. I know how miserable those can be. Uh, that's a thing that runs in my family, unfortunately. Oh, cute, a spiked collar. Is cute the right word for something like that? I'm gonna say it is. Nice. What's our completion percentage now? I'm curious. 45. Jump, jump, jump. I'm very good at jumping puzzles. Except for when I'm not. Uh, jump. And down we go. Yeah, I really like the outfit that we've got right now, especially with the haircut. It's good. It's a good look. Welcome to the Grub Deep. It's uh, looking a little overgrown here, but not the good kind of overgrown. Ah, uh, watch out. Phew, you almost stepped on me. I'm Prunus, the Royal Bug Ambassador. I've been waiting to take you to the Queen. Queen Drosera, ruler of all insects. She's... well... She's not accustomed to outsiders. But this matter is serious, so you'll need to meet her. Our city is deep, deep down at the heart of these caverns. The path might be tough for a non-bug like you. Well, I'll see you down there. Bye! <laughs> I chose to go for the deep voice because if I went for something higher, I would probably murder my goddamn like throat and vocal cords and I would like to not do that <laughs> ah I see bug puzzles mechanic like this in, uh, like, Splatoon story mode stuff? Or am I remembering wrong? Oh, cute! <laughs> Thanks, bud. Uh, what else, what else, what else? I do like these bugs that just like eating paint and glow and stuff. It's fun. Whee! My little rodeo buddy. Thank you for the ride. I appreciate it. This looks like no. I think the puzzle of that room is just go in the right way like I did. Yeah! Careful! It must be hard for you to see in this dark. Oh, good news! The city is just ahead. I hope I didn't scare you too much about Queen Drosera. She is a massive, ancient beast of the darkness. But... Also a total sweetheart. I'm sure you'll be fine. Come along now. 
Oh, I'm sure it's no big deal, right? I'm sure Ancient Beast of the Darkness is just a descriptor related to the fact that, you know, she's a bug and she lives under, in, in this big cave. I'm sure it's nothing. I'm sure it's nothing to be worried about. Oh, Tret! The way to the city is just down from here. But these rocks have fallen in the way. What an inconvenience. Well, not for me. I can crawl around them quite easily. But life's hard for a non-bug, isn't it? As an ambassador, I've learned a lot about cultural sensitivity. I suppose you'll need to find a way through. Don't worry. I'll wait patiently for you. <laughs> oh, I was... I was wondering if the blast radius would be big enough to just get rid of this chunk here. Let's go through this little crack in the wall. I do like that there's just like a phone booth here. And eh, nah, I don't need a hint. Uh... to fall down. Why don't I just ride you to the other side? Like... Like this. And then I can just... Push this on to you. Oh, wait, I have to go with it too. Uh... Thank you, buddy. Fine. Good enough. The music here is very good, yeah. I like how different all the music in every area is. Like, I mean, yeah, it makes sense that, like, different areas thematically and visually would have, like, different sounds in them, but... I appreciate it. I appreciate it, even if it is, like, a, a, a taken-for-granted type of thing. Uh, this way. Excuse me. Thank you. Okay. Not yet. Uh, although, I can certainly go up here. Then, uh, I'll over to this garbage. Um. Thank you for the ride. Jump me on top of this. Let's see. Yes, it can. Cool. That would take me to there. Big one. A brush style. Straight lines and angles. Uh, um, now where do I go? This seems like it was just a, a, a puzzle room, except for going around the long way hereabouts, which would take you through to there. Uh, where can I go? 
Oh, I can go up here and then lure you over to me, and then I can... Uh, you, man, you were hungry today. Get on top of you, and you can take me here. Now I can go this way. Jump. Uh, fill this back in. Hmm. Do that away for now. I fell. <laughs> that might happen a couple of times. Wait, hang on. I think I'm seeing something. Uh. There we go. Right on the money. Now you. Wee. <laughs> seen a lot of people have trouble with this area, but Holly's blazing through it. Listen. <laughs> I've played a puzzle platformer or two in my day. Also, hang on. The treasure over here. Uh. We... Also, yeah, the perspective did, uh, did trip me up a little bit, but I think that's, you know, intentional. Come on, bud. Big snacks for you over here. Thank you. Let's a swim. Ah, it's big munch room. Aha! No, 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 but no, buddy, buddy, over here. No, no. buddy. Thank you. You are so helpful, friend. Uh, let's go up here. Bug love to have a snack of ball. I like how their little like antennae feelers uh, like move around every now and then. It's cute. It's a cute touch. This giant like column of bug dirt is extremely cute. Big big fan of this character. Or sequence of characters, I suppose. It's there's multiple water like this. It's good. I like them. Is there anything else in this room that I miss? I think no? I think no. Ah. Now that this is open... Up. I can push it all the way down here. Ah! This is fun. I like the design of, like, wrapping all around the rooms where you're like, well, I don't know how to get to it from here, but if I come from this angle and then, like, getting around to that angle and seeing it from that different way and attacking it from there. It's fun. It's fun. Game is fun. I may have mentioned this one or two times, but y'all, I think this game might be good. Uh, give me the goods. Spike helmet. You can get a little silly with it now, design-wise, if you want. So, I want to go... Where do I want to go? I'm up here. Jump on you. You can take me over here. Then I can go up here. Then I can jump over there across. Okay. Uh, is there anything else in here at the moment? No. Okay. Whee! Okay, that takes care of that. Now we can... Bring you over here. Thank you. No, no. Get, get on the... Get on the bug. There we go. Oh, I fell off the bug. Welcome back! Thank you! Okay, now I can go here. And now I gotta go up this way and get... Wait, no. No, no, no. I gotta... Get another bomb is what I gotta do. I 
see, I see, I see. Yeah, I'm like getting flung around when the bomb goes off, but like having no reaction otherwise is really funny. Soup is a tough cookie. She can take like a live bomb right to the face and just it's it's it isn't even anything to her. This is nothing. This is just a normal Tuesday for Soup. Uh, which raises some concerns about her lifestyle and habits, but you know, I'm not one to judge. I say words on the internet for a living. Sometimes your living is taking giant bombs of paint to the face. It's fine. She was also a janitor. Yeah, I imagine she's dealt with worse. Uh, wait, is there anything up here that I missed? No, I got that box. It's a living! Uh, so let me go through this a ways. There we go. Now we're coming full circle. We're doing the double triple run around, and now we've got everything what we needed. Uh, okay, hang on, come on. There we go. Yeah, this game's got really like fun, uh, like isometric puzzle design. It's good. It's good. It's it's neat having like a like a an an over the top uh like isometric 2D adventure game sort of thing very reminiscent of like a like a Zelda or something similar but like other than the boss fights there's like there's no enemies in this there's no like monsters to fight or whatever and like I really like that actually it's a it's a cool little uh spin on the the formula You finally made it! Well done! It's just a bit further now. I can't wait! Uh... Oh, yeah, there's probably gonna be some, like, some, some, some constant bug types of things happening, like, real soon, like, so, uh... If you've got, like, any issues with that... You know, might, might be a good time to, 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 to hop out. But, you know, if you're a bugs enjoyer, uh... Get ready to enjoy some bugs? I need a drink. <sighs> Deep voice for Prunus reminds you of the narrator from Zumbinis? What? What is Zumbinis? I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that sounds like a type of pasta. But I don't think pasta would have a narrator. Hang on, hang on. This is a little house, I think. A bug lives here. That's wonderful. Oh! I also really like the streetlights they have. Bugs live in this place and it's good. Oh, look at this one. Look at this guy. Look at this guy! There are so many nice bugs here. Oh. This is it! The entrance to Feast. You'll be the first wielder to visit in decades. What a huge, exciting moment! I hope this isn't rude, but you, you don't look very excited. You seem a bit sad. Oh. Well, I guess I am. Oh. Sorry, I've just been thinking about a fight I had with a friend. Oh, I see. Um, to be honest, I'm starting to feel like I shouldn't even be the wielder. Oh. Chicory is an amazingly talented artist, and I'm 
Nobody. I don't think I belong here. Well, I understand how you feel. You do? It's really tough being the Royal Bug Ambassador. I've learned so much about non-bug cultures. Just speaking your language is really tough for a bug like me. You barely have an accent. Oh, thank you. All my life, my skills have been totally useless. Actually, they make me different from everyone. So I don't feel like I belong here either. You're the first non-bug I've ever met. Oh, wow. Sorry. I must be disappointing. No, no, you're lovely. I think you're doing a good job. You came when we needed you, that's what really matters. Um, and for once, I don't feel useless. So, thank you very much. Anyway, let's go meet Queen Drosera. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that was a really nice chat, actually. Yeah, that the the whole bit of like, well, I don't know, like, if I'm good enough, I don't know if I'm like, if I have what it takes to like take up the mantle and like bear the burden. Like, what's to say I'm like better than like any other person? What's to say I'm the one who's right for the job? And just, well, you know, you you came here when we needed you. You you came and did the job for us. That's enough. Shouldn't that be enough? Feast. I like you. I don't speak your language, I'm sorry. This might be a recurring theme, I'm realizing. Uh-uh. We may have to... Find some way to speak the language. Hi, big buddy! Oh. Well, see you later. Grubby buddy! Grubby buddy! Grubby buddy! Garbage. Okay, this is Queen Drosera's lair. I've spoken to the guards, so you can enter. Um, just one thing. Y you can't speak bug, can you? No? Realize the bugs are named after plants because bugs eat plants and everyone in the world is named after food? Uh-huh! It's really clever, isn't it? <laughs> it's really cute. Well, that's okay. Give me just a moment. Ah, that tickles! Yes, I'm here on your head now. I'll help you to understand Queen Drosera's wretched utterances. Well, go on then. Still can't understand these guys, though. Prunus is here, riding with us. It's, uh... It's a little dark in there, huh? Surface dweller! How dare you enter our chamber! Looking so darn cute! Oh, we can't stand it! We swear each wielder gets cuter than the last. You, you see, I warned you. She's so embarrassing. Oh, hush, Prunus. So, you'll help us, won't you? We don't know why or where they've come from. But we're besieged by black roots from above. They're cramping poor us in our hole here. And they're scaring our citizens, too. Our pact 
with the wielders means you owe us assistance. Uh, okay. I'll see what I can do. Hmm. You don't speak bug, we suppose. That may be tricky. Prunes, would you be a deer and live on this one's head? Uh, of course. It would be my pleasure. Uh, won't that be awkward? Oh, no, no. It's a dream come true. I'll get to learn so much about the surface world. Don't worry. I'll be completely out of your way. I can keep your ears clean, too. <laughs> so our choices here are... No. No! No! And... Okay. Well, sure, I guess. We wish we could live with an adorable surface dweller, too. Well, the main tangle of roots is south of Feast. Our guards will let you through to see it. Best of luck to you, little wielder. <laughs> I don't know why, but the idea of doing like a, like very clearly and obviously sinister voice for a character who's just very nice, but very large and imposing is fun. We're so glad to meet another wielder. They come only so rarely. And truthfully, the last one we met wasn't nearly so cute. We have been about for a long, 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 long time. But you little wielders seem to come and go so quickly. So sad. We always miss them. We used to live up on the surface once. So long ago now. We were much smaller then. Things were easy. We remember the sun. So hot and bright. We remember that first wielder and their delightful colors. Ah, precious memories. I like her. She's cool. She's great. She's, she's a little intense. Ah, Wallenbergia. Did you and the queen have a nice chat? She's really something else, right? It's very rare that even we get to speak with her. So, don't take it for granted. Sure thing, bud. Let's talk to every bug. Did you meet the queen? I'm so jealous. Isn't she amazing? Beautiful? I want to be as huge as her when I grow up. <laughs> the queen is the oldest of all the bugs. She's so wise and great. I don't think anyone knows why she's so big and old, but I hope she stays that way forever. The queen never, ever leaves her lair, so it's pretty rare that anyone gets to see her. You have to be pretty important. I hope I can be important enough someday. Oh, I'm sure you will be, bud. I want to talk up to this nice bug up here. How'd you do this? How'd you get up there? How'd you climb this? Suppose I can't. Suppose I just can't. Huh. There must be some kind of power we can get later that lets us do that. Unless we can find a way to walk up here or something. Soup is too short. Oh, this is a, a, a couch, I see. I don't like these black roots. They say it's something that grew from above. The surface world must be a horrible place. I'm really worried. They won't say anything. I think the roots are hurting the queen. She's so big. What if she got pinched? Oh, poor queen. I hadn't considered that, yeah. 
I like this bug because their antennae make them look like perpetually nervous. That's fun. Oh my! What a lovely little creature. How do you like my antennae? And my sleek little skin dots. Oh, aren't they lovely? They must be overwhelmingly pretty for a foreigner like you. Grew me up. It's funny how you cover yourself with those little cloths. Without those, you must be very ugly, I guess? Or does it help you hide from predators? It... It's a statement, mostly. I wonder so much about your funny surface culture. I love the little sounds you make. Oh, you're just so strange and lovely. <laughs> it's, it's really endearing. How everyone here, like, down here just seems to be like, Man, you're really weird. It's the best. <laughs> of course they'd think that. To Bugs, Bugs is normal. This is a shortcut up to the surface world. Uh, for, for Bugs, I mean. I assume you can't climb up walls like us. I like your little scarf. Something I'm jealous. Sometimes I'm jealous of the littler bugs. They can discreetly come and go to the surface world. There's no way I'm sneaking out there. I mean, here's better anyway, but sometimes I wonder. Scared of being pinched because pinching a bug would squish it? I mean, pinching anything hard enough would squish it. If you have a big enough squish and force, apply enough pressure. But I mean, some of these bugs is especially soft, so. Ixora! <gasps> you sell things! You sell cool things! Uh, oh my! Hello! I've never spoken with a surface dweller before. Uh, this. Oh, wow! This is a very big deal for me. I'm a huge fan of your surface culture. I love collecting your, uh. litter. Fascinating, delicious little things. Do, 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 do you have any? If you give me some, I'll trade for things I've collected. Do you hear much about feast in your surface world? Uh, not, not really, no, not at all. Oh, I see. Well, you are quite mysterious to us as well. I've heard of bugs who went off to live in your world, but it must not be easy. <laughs> I do love this, like, looming beetle who is extremely just like a surface world otaku, yeah? Give me some litter and you can have anything on display. A cultural exchange! Let's take cool things small. Yeah. Fungus pile. Cool thing furniture. Sunflower clock. Cool thing big. Soft dirt pile. Fungal lamp. Stump table. Luminous fungi. Is this a computer? Dirt computer, fuck yeah! <laughs> oh, a computer, it's a calculator made of dirt! Oh, can you understand us now? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> You're my favorite. You're my favorite. Here's a heart for you because I love you. It doesn't really look like a heart, but that's okay. Hang on. Uh, is there anything over here that I missed? 
Iconia. Mm. You're in charge of making all that tasty color, right? Just looking at your brush makes me hungry. Not all bugs eat color. But I sure do. I was so sad when it all suddenly disappeared. Please make as much as possible. Eating the color off themselves. It's rare for the color person to appear here, but they're probably the one surface dweller who comes. Because of a pact with the queen. It means more tasty color for us, so it makes us happy. This whole time I kept thinking that like the little bugs in like caves were like attacking the color because they hated it. Or because they didn't like the light? No, they were doing it because they were hungry. They wanted chow time. I understand now. Oh, hang on a second. There was still something over here that I missed. They just love meal. They literally love meal. Ardesia. Do you want to know what this place is? When we reach a certain age, bugs come here to go into a hole for a while. While we're down there, we change and grow. It's how we become adults. The majesty of life and growth is here before us. Huh. We have a period like that, too. I wouldn't call it magical, though. Choosing your hole is technically meaningless, but it has a lot of importance to us. We like to say there's the right hole for each bug. Some holes are used by the same family for generations. What about you? Do any of these holes feel like yours? Hole. So many stories came from these holes. For example, how do you know when you're ready to go? What happens when somebody waits too long to go to their hole? I can recommend some great books with tales like these. No, oh, but I suppose you wouldn't be able to read them. I do appreciate that these bugs, you know, even living underground, have, like, literature and art and things like that. That's cool. You'd love to see that. Like, yeah, of course we have fine art. What kind of weirdo doesn't have fine art? Let's paint these holes. The music here is really nice. Also, there's a little guy down there I didn't talk to. I can't do it. I don't want to leave. P please don't make me. I'm not ready for the world out there. Everything's scary. But in my home, everything's okay. Oh, I know I'm being a bit silly. I, I, I will leave here. Eventually. I'm ready. Oh, just leave me be. Even bugs get scared sometimes. Everyone gets scared sometimes. That just means you're alive. Phone booth. Crushed here is dangerous. I'm supposed to keep folks out, but the queen says you're okay, so you're okay. Go on ahead, and have a nice day. I haven't even seen the growth much myself. I did take a peek, but boy, is it scary. I wouldn't want to be the one going in there. I've heard about your black trees. Never seen them grow down this deep, though. Something wild must be going up there, eh? Oh, you don't even know the half of it, bud. 
maybe it's good that you're down there, or down here, and that we're up there, and, uh, I forgot, I'm the sheriff, and etc. We have it this way. Okay, let's just go down this way then. I, I think, I think whole bug is fine in their hole. We don't need to bring them anything. I think they'll be okay. Well, uh, no going back now. No regrets. I hope. Sure is a shame that we're a bug that doesn't have the ability to climb walls like a bug, huh? I guess we're trapped here forever. This is gonna be the end of the game. Weird. Bold move for a game to just do that, but... I mean, I gotta respect it. I see. I see. Go for the perfect. There we go. Took me a sec. Soup. Huh? Give it up already. What do you think you're doing here? I... I'm not scared of you! But I am you. I know everything there is to know about you. Look at you playing the wielder. You really think you should be the one holding that brush? Well... No, but... I'm doing my best. Chicory trusted me with it. Chicory?! After what she said, you think she trusts you? No. She probably hates me. Of course she does! You're completely alone. And embarrassing yourself. It's time we put an end to it. I see, okay. Head out of the game. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> oh, wait, I see. I understand. There we go. I have solved the puzzle. Away from ball. Away from ball! Okay, so I just can't step in those at all. Okay. God, this is like messing with my sense of spatial navigation! go. <sighs> what a waste of time. I'm not going anywhere. The Black Forest will swallow everything, and it'll all be your fault.
chapter 5. The Source. How long have we been going for? Like three-ish hours? How about a little bit more? How about a little bit more? Power it up, you're bond with the brush. You can now swim up vertical surfaces. Okay, cool. Like this. Is it any or just certain ones? Okay, just like that. This really is Splatoon now. Get here somehow. I'm gonna say probably not. Although, although, yeah, now we can. Okay. Uh, how convenient that we got this just here in these giant pits that we couldn't go uh, back up. That's fun. Did you take care of that black tangle? Yep. Okay. Because uh, it would appear that. In fact, nothing has actually changed or improved. Well, uh, thanks for your help. You might want to talk to the Queen before you leave. Oh. Uh -oh. Can we climb up these houses? Yes, we can. can now climb up houses. Nice! At least these houses. Let's go talk to this nice guy. Oh! Is that you there, Prunus? Mm -hmm. I'm so happy to see you paired up with a wielder. Prunus is a really big wielder fan, did you know? Why, he always used to say... Um, I'm sorry. I... I don't want to translate that. She's being really embarrassing. Prunus and I are old, old friends. How much this means to him. Show him all your exciting surface world. But also please be kind to him. I can actually speak a little of your surface language. Prudus taught me some phrases. Want to hear? Sure. <coughs> Hell oh. It's hot. It's hot. Oh, Prunus makes it sound so easy. Well, I appreciate the effort. Impressive for someone who's never actually had to speak the language before, honestly. Let's talk to you! Hey, um... This, this, like, fungus here? What's the zoom in button again? What's the zoom in button again? What's... I can't remember what the button to zoom in anymore is. I did it earlier. Uh, yeah, but this, this one has a face. Uh, neat. Oh, it's plus, right? Having a good time? Sorry, I've never seen anything like you! Uh... Oh my! Are those your... eyes? How does that even... Ah. Sorry, I'm... I'm trying not to be rude. That fungus was drawn by the Hollow Knight artist? <laughs> oh, that's really good! Oh, that's wonderful! Up here. Oops. Too many 
see if the nice little bugs have anything else to say. Hi! We, we tried! Taking a look at those roots yet, dearie? Sure did. Sure did. But they haven't gone away. No. <sighs> Come to think of it, whenever I do go into one of those spooky trees, they never actually go away. They just close up. Ah. Then it seems you must find the true source of all the roots. The growths here are vicious. But they are only a symptom of the larger problem above us. That must be the only way to make them go away. The true source of the roots. But where could that be? How are we supposed to know, darling? But surely somewhere in the surface world we are counting on you. I looked there was something else there for a sec, but now it's gone. Okay. I'll see you later, Queen. I'll miss you. I, I do like that she's just kind of shuffling around like, Ooh, oh, look at you. Oh, you're wonderful, aren't you? Oh, I do like you. I could just pick you up and hold you. Queen is very nice. <laughs> now I'm up here. <laughs> see. Is there anything else fun around here we can pick up on the roofs? Everything in this area. Hereabouts. No! We have not. Snack for our friend. Allium! This one's garlic! Oh, hello. It's so interesting to meet a surface dweller. I can't believe you climbed here to chat with me. I want to get the, the other bits on you. There we go. There we go. That's so lovely! Really, I didn't expect that. Why would you... Hmm. Well, I don't want to assume anything, but you should know. I'm really only interested in dating other bugs. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I feel awful saying it. It's just... Things are... Complicated, you know? I hope that wasn't disappointing to hear. You do really seem lovely. I hope you find the right match for you down here. Or, uh... Anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. I like that. A treat for our friend? Alright. I suppose we're off now. I hope that someday, uh, Soup will be able to recover from this, but, you know... I can't blame her for being a little hurt, I suppose. Oh, right, the shortcut. The shortcut with uh, the cool-looking guy. We can also go up here. We can also go up here. We have not yet done. God, I love that little shake-off animation. It's so cute. It's so cute. Ah! Good. B. B. 
<laughs> Thank you, Rosa Rosa, for the bits. I appreciate it. Up we go. Can I interest you in some bee soup? Thanks for the bits. I appreciate it. Whoa! Wow! You really can climb walls! You're pretty cool for a surface dweller. Thanks, I, I think. Welcome to Grub Deep. Oh, now we got a fast track over here. Whee! Ah, fun. Shortcut to surface bugs only. Guess who's a bug now? <laughs> Technically not me, but... Right, the the wall climb, the the mechanic I literally just unlocked. That's how you get out of here. The, the right, the mechanic. Do the mechanic. Child. Let's see, we got this blue. There we go. This is a grass color. Now I'm noticing uh, something over this ways. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, hey, Soap. I've been looking everywhere for you. Um, the, the Wielder Tower in, in Luncheon. It's, uh... Something spooky is happening there. I mean, I guess it's not a rush, but, like... You should maybe check that out. If, if you get a minute, okay? I'm going back home now. Whoa. Uh -oh. We should, we should probably check that out. We should, we should, we should probably check that out. Uh, I guess I can just take the fast travel like from over here. Uh, climb up this wall. Just go back on over this ways. Take the bus. Take the bug bus. Yeah. Uh, let's go to luncheon. Oh, Big Bird! Uh. Hmm. Maybe it's good we came here right away, actually. wearing something a little less silly for this. This is the largest corruption I've ever seen. It sprouted here so suddenly. You won't be able to enter this as you are now. Your bond with the brush isn't strong enough. Go back down and speak to Chicory. There's no way to put this lightly. This is an utterly catastrophic situation. A corruption this big could quickly spread across all of Picnic. You and Chicory need to do something about this. Immediately. Um... Uh, okay. I mean, I guess we can try. Even the clouds are grey, I just noticed. Dang! Things are looking a little grim. It has eyes, they blink. Uh-huh. Sure does. Ch 
Chicory? Can you hear me? Are you... okay? I mean, I, I know you're probably not. Chicory, something horrible is going on. The Black Forest is sprouting everywhere. And it's starting to look and talk like me, too. It isn't safe here anymore. Please. You have to come out. Chicory? Are you... Oh. The door's open. It all fades away. No matter what we do, it all fades away. painting I did of Chicory. I... I didn't think she'd really hang it up. She kept our portrait. Right by her bed. like two little pink dots up there and I'm not sure if it's dead pixels on my monitor or if that's just the game. You came back. Chicory, you need to get out of this tower. It's not safe anymore. Something horrible is happening here. I'm what's happening here. I told you. All of this came from me! I'm just a broken, messed up person. You can't save me from this! The sooner you abandon me, the better off you'll be! Chicory, I... None of that's true! The last time I saw the darkness, it... Why won't you listen to me?! It's all my fault! It's all my fault. It's all my fault! Chicory! <laughs> Ooh, okay. Noted. This isn't just you! It started looking and speaking like me, too! It must be something else! Then why did it all come out when I had the brush? Why did all the color vanish? You think you did that? No! But... Stop making excuses for me! My entire reign as Wielder was a mistake. The only good thing I ever did... Pass it on to you. Please forget about me! I'll just make everything worse! Fast, okay. Ah! 
Okay, okay, it's fine. Chicory, you... You really think I'm a better wielder than you? Of course you are. But... When I saw that part of you in the swamp... You said you regretted giving the brush to me. I regret a lot of things. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'd say something so stupid. Just another mistake. Nothing good comes from me. Why would you even want me around? Okay, the doubler. Oh, that's fast. Ooh. Let me do it again. Too close to the edge there. Chicory, just go. You're better off without me. All these problems came from me. I don't care where they came from! I can't face it all alone anymore. I need your help! I won't abandon you! So stop asking me to! Please! I'm not going anywhere. I'm here. Just... breathe. You've seen yourself in there, too. Yeah. It spoke like it was me. And said stuff I was thinking. So something came from me. But if it came from you... And from me, too... Then it's from something common between us. It must have been... The brush. The brush! When I was wielding the brush, it... It's like it was connected to me. The more my bond with it grew, the more I could do with it to shape and color reality. But... I wonder... If it made more things real than just that. Soup. I am so, so sorry for whatever you heard in the swamp. That's not who I want to be. When those corruptions talk to me, it's like all my self-doubts come to life, reminding me of every mistake I've made. Oh, Chicory, you're much more than that! It hurts to hear you talk about yourself that way. I forgive you. I just... wish I could help. Well... more than that. I want to be your friend. I thought by now you hated me. I thought you hated me! I just dropped you into this giant mess. I 
need to be better. I'm going to try. But I need you to wield the brush. Chapter 6 The Wielder Trials Powered up your bond with the brush! Yippee! <sighs> you can now paint and swim on water. The center of all corruption and picnic is at the top of this tower. But you aren't ready to face it yet. Because... you haven't become a proper wielder yet. I haven't? That's my fault. There's a series of five wielder trials. Well, one was the wielder temple, which he did. So, four wielder trials. And one at the each corner of Picnic. That's how you're meant to bond with the brush. And that's how you could reach that last step. From now on, I'm gonna be your teacher. I can't promise it'll be perfect, but I'm at least going to try. Okay? With the brush seems bad. I do think my bond with the brush somehow made the corruptions. And your bond too. But everyone's in danger now from those corruptions. And we can't fight them without bonding with the brush. So right now we don't have a choice about it. We need to fix this mistake first. And decide what to do with the brush later. Okay? What are the trials? Each trial explores a different aspect of being the wielder. You'll find one at each corner of Picnic. The aim will be to commune with the brush in different ways. So, your bond with it is strong as can be. Thank you, Queen Bananley, for the six month resub. This game's so pretty. It really is, isn't it? Thank you very much for six months of support. I really appreciate that. Okay. How do I find them? Each trial's at one of the furthest reaches of Picnic. So, explore out there and you'll find them. Use your map. Or if you're really in a pinch, you can always call for help at a phone booth. Okay. So I'm gonna fight the giant corruption? Unfortunately, yeah. The little ones you've been fighting aren't making a difference. So we have to attack it at the source. It's the only way to get rid of it all for good. It's gonna be way harder than anything you've done yet. Okay? Okay. You look nervous. Uh, 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 I'm not! It's okay if you are. I was too. And I was under a lot less pressure. I, I, I can do it! I want to be stronger. I want to learn how to be a real wielder. And help everyone. And help you too. I can do it. Come find me at one of the trials. You can do it, Soup. Oh, thank you, Nightmare Judge. It's nice of you to say. <laughs> no, I like to think I'm, I'm okay enough at it, but uh, you know, I suppose everyone's got their doubts, don't they? I certainly get them fairly often, but, you know.
just gotta believe in yourself and believe in the fact that people probably don't have a reason to lie to you about stuff like this. So thank you, it means a lot to hear that. So we can go to the different corners of the world now. Uh, and now that we've got the ability to swim, we've got like this corner opened up, we've got this corner opened up. Uh, well, not so much this one. Uh, but we got this bit of water we can swim in now. Uh, and this bit here too, so we have literally opened up all the missing bits with the power of swimming. Which is cool! Nothing new for them to say. Hmm. A little scary around here, though. Let's see... How beans do it. How many do you need? Five more. Okay. I'm so happy you can pet all the cats. That's true, we didn't do any art school today. Uh we can do that. Take a couple lessons, wrap up for the night. Sounds good to me. Sips River's just over this way. I mean, hey, we can also dive into the water now. We can go for a swim. This is fun. Under the bridge? You're telling me there's an under the bridge portion? This is where I find the bottle keeper under the bridge? When I was a kid, that's a cool head. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Oh. When I was a kid, um, playing, um, uh, Link to the Past for, like, the first time, uh, and I got the... Oh, hey, Kiwi! Oh! Good to see you here, bud. Uh, let's go talk to them first. Oh, hi! You recognize that, right? It's the song we made together! I think everyone here likes it. Come jam in the Tea Time Meadows if you want to make a new one. Oh, I love you, Kiwi. God, I'm still so happy that Kiwi's in this game. <laughs> I've been meaning to go through Wander Song again sometime soon to get the, the developer commentary stuff. God, that's such a good game. If any of y'all in chat haven't checked that out yet, uh... I implore you. Real good game. Give it a look. Made by the same folks that made this one. Or at least a lot of folks that worked on this one. Uh, anyways, what was I saying? Um, when uh, I played through like uh, A Link to the Past for the first time, and I like discovered that little bit of the the. The, 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 like, the, the bridge that you could go under with the flippers. And, like, how you could use that to, uh, to find that one secret guy who was like, Hey, thanks for finding me. Uh, I got this bottle here for you. I thought that was really cool. Figuring that out, that made me feel really clever as a kid. Uh, you cannot swim on water if it's not been painted, no. I guess I can't go quite that a ways to get the good stuff. Is 
This could be water. Or it could be this. You heard a bird? You sure did! It's our good buddy Kiwi. Soup doesn't know how to swim. She's a janitor. She's too busy janitoring to learn how to swim. I guess not anymore. Now she's a wielder. Uh, doesn't have to worry about it because now she knows how to swim. Oh, right. Child in the water. I forgot about you. Oh? More? More goodies for me? More goodies for Holly? I'd literally love to find a secret under a bridge. I think every game should hide secrets under bridges. Oh my god. Oh my god, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on! Maybe this will teach you not to run away from home. Huh? Two months? Oh, wow. You cool Holly Summer. <laughs> Thank you, Graphobia, for the two month resub. I appreciate it. And now we got the swamp. And we can just swim through it. Nice. I completely forgot I was going to do uh, painting lessons, and instead I just went uh, to go for a swim. <laughs> Which I suppose is in character for me, but it is funny. in the waterways. Uh, waterways is cool. Uh, one of my favorite things in uh, video game Minecraft, known video game Minecraft, uh, you know, don't worry if you've not heard of it, it's a bit of a, like an underground indie darling that's like not super popular yet or nothing like that, but uh, one of my favorite things to do in that game is just like uh, make like riverways and boatways and stuff like that and just go in sailing. It's fun. And this is giving me a very similar feeling, just like painting all this out and going for like different swims through it. It's good. I just noticed the little T-Rex is still on our, on our map icon! <laughs> That's really good. That's really good. Wait, are we off the map? And so I emerge from the water to terrorize the people of this island of garbage. A beast without qualms. Returning to the sea yet again. Oh. Uh, or not. Turns out the map is a little bigger than the screen, yeah. The big drink. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Or perhaps purple water. Perhaps purple water is it? No. Nah, let's go this. The purple looks a little bit too much like Dr. Robotnik crude oil spillage. Uh, and that's not so nice for the people living here. Anyways. 
That's why, that's that's why Soupzilla here. Oh, Chicory's here. Maybe we are just accidentally doing one of the Wheeler trials instead of painting lessons. <laughs> Maybe we can just do painting lessons next week. Maybe that's okay. <laughs> next week is gonna be just like a little more uh, odd sort of stream schedule wise just because of like stuff I got going on uh, that I gotta deal with outside of streams. So uh, maybe just like doing some painting lessons will make for a fun little uh, laid back stream. Do you, uh, do you like my outfit? Did, did you see? Did, 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 did you see my outfit? It's, it's, it's really good, right? You just go like... That's the, that's the sound that it makes. Did you, did you like it? Yeah, it was okay. <laughs> you know what? I feel like going for the scarf today. Hey, Soup. Looks like you found your first trial. Guess I knew I'd take some... I guess I knew I'd take someone through this someday. But my memory being on the other side is still fresh. I'll do my best, okay? The theme of this trial is... Finding your own path as a wielder, or... Something like that. Locating this place is just the first step. There's a lot of old wielder stuff here. You'll have to find your way to the heart of the island. And, well, I'll leave the rest to you. See you up ahead. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting hearing about, like, uh, the... the, the different orders that people went through this game in. That's gonna be neat. I like the fish hanging out. Aha! More garbage! I see. That way. Oh, right, I can just do the... the fill tool. I forgot, that's faster. Not that way. Okay. Not that way. Oops, whoops, no, 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 no. Just, just this bit here. Thank you. Jumpy Daisy. Sunny T. Cute. Garbage. Thank you. Nothing over here. God, it's pee water. Let's clean up this house. There we go. Clementine's here. Oh, hey, Soup. 
I just came by to check out your colors. Looking really nice here. It's so cool seeing how you decided to color stuff. You got this. Oh, thanks. I did just break into this man's house and, you know, steal all of his garbage. Oh, you can go on top of roofs now. And the seas shall run crimson. Oh, wait, no, I should be, uh, jumping. Oh my god, this is so cute. Oh my god, I love this one, actually. Oh my god, this one's adorable. Can't not wear this one. Now it is showing up on the map. Fun. Or at least some of it is. Up we go, up we go, up we go. Nah. Ah, up we go. No, wrong color. Nah. Blue my water, please. Computer, uh, make my water blue again. Thank you. There we go. Oh, cute, it's a little sailor outfit. Do we have enough spoons to do Spoons Island? What? Spoons? Oh, is this called Spoons Island? I don't know what you mean by have enough spoons, though. Jump! I'm gonna go talk to you. Computer, can I get a printout of Chicory smiling, please? Computer, show me Chicory happy. Computer, show me Chicory and Soup being friends, thank you. Oh. It's you. Still wielding away, huh? Hey, come on now, quiet down. We're playing a video game here. <laughs> Thank you for the 10 month resub, I appreciate it. <laughs> I dropped out of the art academy. I keep wondering if that was a mistake. But I didn't see any other way for me. I always dreamt of showcasing in the Master Gallery. I thought I could get there by working hard, but it's just not how it works, is it? All that matters is who your friends are. But I was never in it to make friends. So all my work just didn't matter. On the other hand, I still feel stupid for quitting. I'm sorry I was a jerk to everyone. I'm worried I made a huge mistake. And now it's too late to fix it. But oh, don't give up. I guess I don't actually want to give up. That's why it's tearing me up so much. I also don't know how to continue on. I wasn't getting anywhere with the Art Academy. All I really want to do is make art. And show it. A place like the Master Gallery would never give me the time of day. <sighs> well, it's not like you owe me any favors, but... If you brought them my portfolio, they'd at least look at it. Would you be willing to do that for me? Okay. Yeah. You think you could show my portfolio to the Master Gallery? I guess I could. Really? Wow. I didn't think you'd help. Or care. Well, here it is. Show that to the Master Gallery in Elevenses. If they like it, it 
could be a huge break for me. Kind of a dream come true. Well, I shouldn't get my hopes up. I hope you do deliver that letter. If you change your mind and decide not to, I guess that's fine too. Not like you owe me anything. I mean, yeah, but... You're my sister's friend. I care about my sister's happiness. And you make my sister happy. Ergo. Uh, where was Eleven's again? All the way up there. I did just kind of, like, do a perfect swan dive right into the river after that conversation, didn't I? <laughs> I did just kind of do that, didn't I? You! Fiend! Perfectly normal adult. Oh, right, small buildings. Wait, that means. Hello? Hello? Hi, Soup, it's your mom. Are you doing okay? Oh, I know it's out of the blue, but I was thinking of coming to visit at your house in luncheon by the Wielder Tower. I thought I'd give you a heads up because, well, when you moved in, there wasn't much there, so I thought maybe you'd try to make it look presentable, you know? Um, that's all. I'll see you at your house sometime. Take some time to decorate if you haven't already. I'm excited to see you there. Oh, yes. <laughs> that extremely feels like a mom thing to do and say, yeah. What's up here? Hole. Oh. And child. Thank you, Hexblading, for the $3 tip. I really appreciate that. Ah! That's what those do. That's what those do. I see. I've discovered the mystery. I've solved the mystery. Uh... Let's get some greens in here. Uh, some browns for the walls. Here we go. Let's solve some puzzles. Um. Okay, you can... You can do a goop slide into a jump. Uh, if there's something in the direction that you can go to. Neat. This is the first time I've learned about this through this puzzle. Skate helmet! 
<laughs> Cute. Uh, I think that's all in this room. Although, can I get higher up there? I don't think I can. I don't think I can. Not from here, perhaps at least. <laughs> Coop sliding to jump through combo. <laughs> Get him with the frame one goop deck. You'll love to see it, you do. Uh, ah, but that's how you get up there. I see. Maybe the rest of the stream is just me exploring things instead of doing anything specific. It's just me looking around and seeing cool things. Maybe that's fine. Oh, I make, I make brown and water, that's bad. <laughs> that's the sewage. Where's Kitty? 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 I don't think anything in the world should ever be allowed to be called Wonka's Chocolate River. I think that's a crime, or it should be. Ah, pathway here, though. Hang on. Child, where? Child. This, this. Simmer Springs. Well, this is new. What colors have we got? This nice blue, this nice purple, this pink, this yellow. Blue skies. This is good for the walls, especially after that brown that we just had. And I suppose we got like yellow grass. That sounds nice. Nice autumnal colors. It's a catastrophe! Butterscotch and quince. This resort's done for, I tell you, done for! Now, now. That may be a bit of an exaggeration. I would never, ever exaggerate! We're the victims of grand larceny! All the furniture in our presidential suite was stolen! Everything is hopeless. I'll take the case. I don't know anything about investigating, but I'll try to help. Oh, thank goodness! Please come see for yourself! Uh. Wow, it's really empty. Yes, it is! And VIP guests are coming any time now! You've got to begin the investigation right away! Luckily, I've seen enough TV to know how that works. You need to take photos of evidence! Okay, sure. What's evidence? Why, there's a piece of evidence right here! Open up your camera, zoom in, and snap a picture to collect the evidence. Including this, I imagine there's four pieces of evidence around Simmer Springs. Good luck! Oh, actually, one more thing. If you have any spare decor, could you place some here? I'll remain here to oversee the redesign of the presidential suite. Thank you! Let's... Take a picture. <laughs> I do still really like our transit pass. It's cute. What's our percentage looking like? 58. Neat. Uh, photo mode. The DNA evidence. Yes, just like that! Now go find the other pieces of evidence! Also, we should put down some furniture. Uh, let's dress up the place. We've got... Uh... <laughs> A tent? <laughs> <laughs> we do have a 
grandfather clock. That seems like presidential sweetly enough for me. Uh, wide bookcase. Glass orb. Would you like to move so I can put a couch down? No? Okay. And, uh, an antique chair. Now we can put down this nice fancy rug. Oh. Uh, I think Pupi would look good here. Herring painting, twinkle leaf, me, golden ratio. Oh, drying art. I thought this said dying art, and I got very scared. Uh, let's put some potted plants in here. Why don't we? Liven things up a little. Got this nice hang plant. Nope. Can't put it on top of the bookshelf. You can sit down here in the lap of luxury and enjoy your plant. I'd say this looks alright for now. Mm hmm, yes. Ah, uh, the sweet decor. Uh, the sweet isn't quite presidential yet. There should be some items on the walls. Do that, it'll be perfect. Okay, let's put some more on the walls then. It's neat that it just tells you. Uh, do some more of this, please. How about another clock? Uh, and... I'm sure people would appreciate a picture of bugs. Uh, and if they don't, they'd be cowards. Oh. Stupendous! Oh, I love what you've done with the decor in here! It's certainly a new flavor, but it's our presidential suite! Oh, guests will be coming any minute now. I'll make my way downstairs, as should you! We're just gonna leave the bloodstains here, though. That's fine. They'll love that. Uh, it's part of the ambiance, we'll tell them. about the investigation? Oh, please don't talk to me about that now. It's too much for my poor old heart. But I have to ask you questions. Where were you when the stuff was stolen? I have a very strict routine I follow every day. I'm usually behind the front desk wearing a blindfold listening to relaxing music. Blindfolded? Well, it keeps my nerves calm. Uh, well, did you hear anything? Like I said, I was listening to relaxing music through soundproof headphones. I also always have the volume turned up very loud. Aww. That way it's very, very relaxing. <laughs> I do that for about 12 hours every day. Um, that's really all I have to say about the investigation. Quince, my concierge, will handle it moving forward, so please just speak to her. Thank you, Smaller Columba, for the tip. Oh, wow, are those colors? I love colors. You see, my wife lets me swim around in the little thing of water that comes with her watercolor painting kit since I'm the size of an elbow macaroni. <laughs> Thank you for the tip. I appreciate it. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Of course. Where were you when all the stuff went missing? I was... on a break. I had stepped out to get a breath of fresh air. When I came back, Miss Butterscotch was in a fit. That's when I found out what happened. A likely story. I know, it is very likely. It's very likely and also true. Well, okay. 
Let me know when you found all the evidence. How's the investigation going? Looks like you've got one out of four evidence photos. I can't fathom what kind of scoundrel would do this to us. Come back with the rest as soon as you can. <gasps> Our mom's here! Soup! Oh, you decorated this sweet, didn't you? Call it a mother's sixth sense. I've been working hard lately, so I thought I'd come for a soak. Of course I didn't get of course I couldn't get Dad to come. He's married to that holy shop. Hmm. Soup, I know you like to work hard like your dad. But I hope you remember to take breaks sometimes too. Oh god, I've forgotten to take a break while streaming today, haven't I? We should maybe we should wrap up soon. <laughs> maybe we should wrap up soon. We can come back to this area some other time. <laughs> Oops. We get to this bit from another way. I think we can swim in these, we can just go. Oh! Does it have this oh! I guess we can just jump through here like this, through the water. that rain. Interesting. Interesting. I'm learning so much about painting today. Oh my god, it's got little eyes. And then when it all drips out, do we fall out? gonna go before I got sidetracked by all of this. Uh, the Master Gallery. That's right. That's right. The Master Gallery. I was gonna do the Master Gallery. That's right. Wow. Art. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm not really a gallery person. Just, just thought it would be cool to see yours. Supposed to say about art. Like. Ah, yes, the, uh, the composition. So sublime, indubitably. Etc. Okay, that's all I got. Uh, but yeah, I like it. Good art, thank you. <laughs> I love pickle. Pickle rules. Pickle's one of my favorites. Do you have a letter for the gallery? Wow! These are some really nice paintings, but we don't take submissions. And as nice as this person's art is, I don't think they're a good fit. Why not? We only show established artists at this gallery. It's a place to honor timeless classics of art history. Not really the place for an up-and-comer. But you show my art. Well, we show your reproductions of the classics. That's a bit different, wouldn't you say? You're the only one who can make them in color, after all. So, no exceptions? That's not to say this person's art isn't good! How truthfully, people don't come here to see good art. 
They come to see art by people they've heard of. And nobody's heard of this person. So it would do no good for us or our patrons. Or this person, for that matter. And they'd just be showcasing their work to people who don't want to see it. Well, how does someone get known? Good question. Oh. Yeah. S sorry. Uh, it's, a, it's a little awkward for me, too. Oh, it's always special to see the work of an up-and-comer. I hope they keep working at it. You can deliver this back to them. <laughs> That's a little too cheery for a rejection letter. Um... Sorry, again. Well, let's... They'll be the bearer of news, I suppose. Uh, it was this way, wasn't it? whole game hits too real. Yeah, and it rules. I love it. You got a response? Let me see. I see. Well, that totally blows. Sorry. Why is everything so hard? I shouldn't have gotten my hopes up. I should have known there'd be no chance. All that time spent practicing making art. Yes, it really was for nothing. There's something else in here. Some kind of flyer for... Huh. Apparently the luncheon cafe does guest showcases. I didn't know that. I could take your portfolio there. No. I'll take it there myself. Thanks for trying to help. See you at the luncheon cafe, maybe. Oh. I'm glad that wasn't just like, well, too bad, tough break. Marzipan very clearly cares about the arts, even if, like, you know, she does have rules she's got to follow for curation at the museum. It's, it's, it's nice to see her, like, trying to help out in her own way. Let's go to that cafe! What an intriguing art show. I was just passing through for my daily show, but I was captured by this artwork. Radish, hmm? Oh, she'll certainly be one to watch. Beetroot. My gosh, look at Radish's amazing show. That's my daughter, you know. I'm so proud. Radish told me you helped her out. Is that right? Oh, thank you so much. I have a small something for you. Come to my house sometime after this, okay? At the end of the Sips River. Whoa. Holy shit. Whoa. Whoa! This is extremely good, actually. It's cool seeing Radish's art here. I think she deserves it. Her stuff's good. I've seen some of these before, but it looks like she has some new stuff, too. Glad she's still working on it. 
I wondered how she was doing after she left school. Man, I haven't spoken to Radish since, uh, that time at the Academy. It was kind of awkward seeing her here, but I think we're cool now. She said you helped her find this gig. That's pretty big of you, Sue. Radish has always been a bit more intense than me. A, a bit? <laughs> she wants to be the best. I just want to take it easy. That's why we make good friends. <laughs> I feel bad for not talking to her after our fight. But I'm glad she's doing okay. I should hang with her again. Radish's art is pretty cool, isn't it? It really expresses her personality. I think it's so cool that she got to do a show. Thanks for giving her that push, Soup. It all happened so fast. I didn't expect the cafe to be so excited about the idea. It's not the same as being in a gallery, but I have to admit, it's not bad. Glad I gave it a try after all. Um, I didn't expect you to help or care either, so thanks. Oh. Also, sorry for being a huge jerk at the Academy. I had you all wrong. It means a lot that you wanted to help me after all that, so I want you to take one of these pieces home as a way to say thanks. Your choice, witch. It's gotta be this one. Hell yeah. Commissioned this art for the game, but told them they could tweet it before the game came out as long as they kept the source secret. <laughs> That's cool of ya. It's very pretty art. I'm gonna have to take the name down of the artist and give them a look later. Thank you for sharing that. Hell yeah. Uh, I will give them a look. Wait, hang on, I'm already following them. Huh. <laughs> Wait, hang on a second, I'm already following this artist. <laughs> Wild. Clementine's here, too. I wasn't sure I'd see her again after everything. She was really hurt by some of the stuff I said to you. I know it wasn't really fair of me. Well, maybe I'll say something to her. Oh, so you liked that one, huh? Hang it somewhere good for me. I'll see you around sometime. Also... My mom wanted me to tell you that you should talk to her, if you haven't already. Just, just please don't let her embarrass me. I keep saying I should wrap up soon, but, like, I got a couple other little things I want to do before I finish. Oh, you're all... You're already here. Uh, I was... I was just about to... Uh, decorate a little. Uh, good, good, good to have you. Did you just, like, let yourself in, or...? I got some, I got some potted plants. Get a mat out? House rug sounds correct. And. I already got a chair, it's okay. Uh... Probably could do to have some kind of lighting in here. And. How about some floor art? There we go. We can 
decorate this with like uh, some paints, and we got a bucket. Uh, we've got this easel here, some some some, some brush jars. Yeah, I'd say this is pretty good for now. Hi, Soup. I'm so glad I could finally visit you here. And I have to say, your place looks dashing. It's very artistic. Oh, just like you. It's really... Leveled up. Since you first moved in. Soup, I want you to have this. Warming gift. Remember taking that when you were a kid? Oh, you were so cute then. I won't stay long, I promise. But just so you know, I told Dad and Clementine you're taking visitors now. The word might spread farther than that. So, be ready for guests here sometimes, okay? Love you, sweetie. Oh, I love you too, Mom. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's starting to feel a lot more like home in here instead of just a shelter. Say it's weird for everyone to let themselves into your house, but to be fair, you do the exact same thing. Uh-huh, you sure do. We should, uh, go visit Radish's ma. Hey, uh, we had a research assignment at the academy, so I came to check out your colors here. Feels like cheating. <laughs> well, I don't know what I'll write about. I'm no good at that stuff. I just wanted to look at cool art. Good luck with that, bud. Just melts into the paint right in front of you. <laughs> After I dropped out, I was feeling pretty lost. Now I've finally been able to at least focus again. I still think leaving the Academy was the right choice for me. I'll just keep working on my own out there. I'll figure it out. I probably wouldn't have pulled through without my mom, either. I'm really glad she was there for me. I was probably a jerk to her, too. Well, I've got a lot of figuring out to do. Don't we all? Hey! Thanks for helping Radish with her show. She seems like she's coming out of her fog. So I'm happy as can be. Well, I have something to show you. You see, way back, my great-grandpa was a wielder. He had a really special brush style he made himself. And he hid it somewhere in Picnic. <laughs> Guess hidden stuff's an ancestral passion. Anyway, even I don't know where it is, but he left behind a clue on how to find it. There it is! Weird, right? He meant for it to stay in the family the next time we had a wielder, but I'd say it's been long enough to just share it. I mean, it's just a brush style anyway. Hope it helps you. Hey, don't touch that! Hide your old family secret. Something that opens the way to treasure. And I shouldn't say that. Probably makes you want to see it even more. Well, you shouldn't, but... You, you, you literally just told me it's fine, though. Oh, I guess the game wanted me to look at the question mark thing, like, ages and ages ago, and now it's like, well... It didn't, like, check out the flag for that or what have you. Last I checked, the place you visited with the most gifts is dinners. Well, there's still six gifts hidden there. Hope they find a happy home. I love a gift of dinner. Every day I give myself one. Uh, 
I reckon this is a pretty good place to, to call it for now. I can just get on over here. There we go. And we'll stop uh, out in front of the gallery. Uh, whereabouts is that? Over here. And so next time, uh, probably Monday next week, just because Tuesday I'm not going to be able to stream, but Monday next week, I reckon, we'll do some painting lessons. And then we'll see where the day takes us from there. But until then, that's going to be chicory for today. Pathway over here, little pathway over here, and that way up here. Surf on over to continue, surf on over to new game. We got quit, got options, we got coop. For sure. This game is a treat for sure. Hope y'all enjoyed. More soon. Uh, again next week. Hope you're looking forward to it. Uh, let's see if there's any fan art to show off. Uh, I might try and keep it quick because I am admittedly getting a little tired. <laughs> so I'll just, uh, Try and do a, the, the, the lightning round of sorts, I suppose. Uh, there we go. That's some good music. We'll get the Discord up. Again, if you'd like a place to post fan art to have shown off at the end of streams, or if you'd just, you know, like a, a nice place with a fun little community to, to, to hang out and chat in, exclamation point Discord. You can check it out. Starting off with this one here from Renegade Cryptid. Very cute. Very cute. Thank you very much. Got this one here from Zoobob. I really like the beams of light you did. That's a really good touch. I really like the colors on this too. Thank you. From Ruby. Hey, watch me do a backflip. <laughs> Thank you very much. We got this one from Ellie 3 who says, Time for more AI-generated art. This time with the prompt, Holly learns the joy of painting. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> this is really scary. Thank you. <laughs> We got more from Ruby. <laughs> God. The bugs moment was really good. It was really good. Thank you very much. We got this one from Moth Critter. I really like the colors on this. This is a lot of fun. I like I like that you used like a like a like a limited color palette like in the game itself. That's that, that's that's really cool. I love the way everything like flows like it's like water or paint. Well, this is wonderful. Thank you. We got this one here from Justin. Chicory means I experiment with brushes. This time it's no sketch and only using a fill brush. Wielder who made my sister sad. 
<laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. We got this one here from Rosie Hyena. <laughs> to the stream, but very cute. Thank you all the same. Love to see you. Cute. We have this one here from Ferret. Oh, it's Soup and Clementine. That's wonderful. I, I like, I like how in, in, in the, 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 the fan art people are making, they're giving, they're giving the puppy siblings the, the colors that I gave them. Oh, that makes me happy. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. Thank you. We got one from Helvetica. Oh. Oh, the hug. Oh. <laughs> this is very soft. Thank you. I love it a lot. Another one from Ruby. Oh, look, it's the little doggy haircut. Hell yeah. This is adorable. Thank you. From Rosie Hyena. And look, it's Kiwi. Oh. I am glad that so many people uh, alongside myself were just extremely excited to see Kiwi. <laughs> Oh, that's my friend. That's my friend the bard right there. Thank you very much. Another one from Ruby? And that's another Kiwi. Hell yeah. Very nice. Thank you very much. We got this one here from Sign, from Sign Machine. Uh, you can't see it right now, but my fucking jaw just hit the floor. <laughs> my god. The colors on this, the shading. This is a cute face and this is a cute brush. This is wonderful. Oh, thank you so much, Sign. We got this one from Ruby. <laughs> right, capture this moment from the end of the boss fight. Just... It'll all be your fault! <laughs> I really like that, just the abrupt cut from the, like, you know, like, moment of, like, violent self-loathing to just... <laughs> Thank you for capturing that. This one from Helvetica. I like the way the, the cloak, like sort of seeps out like this. It's very evocative. Also, I like the background he did. Thank you very much. Got this one here from Nova. My goodness, there was a lot of art tonight. <laughs> Which I guess makes sense. It's the art game. That battle of chicory really inspired me. I had to run upstairs to draw this out as fast as I could. Hey, hell yeah. And this is wonderful. I like the, the the sort of juxtaposition between like the fangs and the, the like splats reaching out. This is really cool. Thank you. Another one from Ruby. When I was little and learning to swim, I was taught to swim, the literal translation, like a dog. And maybe it just happens here. <laughs> Very cute. Super swim. Thank you. We got this one here from Chaka Khan, who says, I can't believe how much soup looks like a Holly were a dog. I mean, to be fair, a large part of that is because I gave her a haircut. <laughs> but I mean, she's cute, so I'm taking that as a compliment. This is adorable. Thank you very much. 
another one from Ruby. He says, last one. I like the chat. It was very quiet during that battle. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, let me just double check with the quick to see if there was any that was posted on Twitter. Uh, that was not posted in the Discord. We got two! Yeah! Let's give him a look. Give me just a moment. Uh, where's the... There we go. This one here. Uh, from Vermwood. Who says, painted this using handmade paints I mold while watching the chicory stream. I love soup. Hey, you and me both. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the expression on this. It's very cute. And I love the way that, like, the, the, the paint is, like, drifting out over here. This is real good. Thank you. I'm so full from cigarettes! Yum! And we got this one here from dead underscore lesbians underscore. It's a funny doggy. <laughs> this is wonderful. Oh, I like the, the little the little lines of color swirling away from the brush like this. This is a real cool. Oh, I just noticed the tail wag. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Oh, this is real nice. And I believe that's gonna be it for our fan art showcase tonight. Thank you all very much for all the wonderful art tonight. All this makes me real happy to see it does. Uh, I gotta be honest, I'm real tired. There's a lot of people live right now, so I don't know where to send a raid. Uh, you all can go about and drift wherever you'd like. Uh, I think I'm probably just going to cut the stream <laughs> and take her easy. Uh, but thank you all so much for tuning in tonight. Uh, you know, whether you were just here for a bit, or you were here for the whole stream, if you only, like, stopped by at the start, or you only stopped in right here at the end, you know, it's always wonderful to have you here, so thank you all so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend it here with us. And, you know, thank you as well for all the subs and all the tips and all the bits that we had. Your generosity means a whole lot to me. Thank you for all the follows we had, and for all the beautiful fan art we had, and for all the hosts and raids that we had. Yeah. And you know, if you're liking the streams, uh, if you're liking Chicory, give it a look. It's out on Steam. It's out on uh, PlayStation. Give it a try. Uh, see what kind of things you can paint. Go, go, go toss a couple bones over the devs' way, uh, because, you know, we couldn't do the stream if it weren't for the games they're making, so... Go support your local game devs. Uh, I think a game like this certainly deserves, you know, like, not just, like, the financial support, but, like, your time. It's real good. And I'm very excited to share more of it with y'all. I'll be live again... Friday. And we'll be doing some more Backbone. I'm looking forward to it. I hope y'all are too. But no matter what happens before we head out, I'd just like to say hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you're doing your best to take care of yourself and take care of the folks around you. And I hope to see you again soon. By the way, you can eat a burger whenever you want. It's allowed. It's... it's... no one can stop you. <laughs>